melt too out here. All right, good morning, good morning, water people. Lanny, good morning. Kendall, good morning. Me and Ed are out here on the Huntington Beach Flats going for halibut today. I've been on that halibut freaking chase lately. When the water was warm about a month or so ago, man, the bite was good, but this water has cooled down a little bit and it the bite at least over here has been a little bit rough but today the effort's going to definitely be very real we've got ed here he's a very fishy um owner of half fish spreader bars he does the lightweight spreader bars on the clear bar pretty cool hoot there it's a hoochie spread rather than the shop uh shop uh, the bob shell squids that are on the big titanium ones. Pretty cool setups. We're probably going to run one here a little bit today for some footage and to see how uh, his uh, change works. KT, good morning. Yoga, a uh, yoga tug, good morning. Halibut kick, yep. Oh, nice bait ball at the very bottom. That's a good sign, it's a good sign. Uh, yeah, I just normally tuck it in back here by. Exactly. You don't want to get in, get me in trouble. <laughs> uh, X Boxy, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Nice ocean. Is it true when the ocean is flat, fishing is slow? Yeah, it could be, but the motion of the ocean definitely helps in certain fisheries. That's for sure. Um, love when the hoochie shows me their spread. <laughs> uh, Benny, thank you for the follow. hear that joke he said i love it when the hoochie shows me that it's spread uh, get that get it yeah. that little wordplay he said that's just that's the internet for you <laughs> yeah i gotta learn a little more about that <laughs> yeah. so i'm just getting a drift rig down i believe he is too just everyone ties their rig up differently we come to find out i know some people will literally just use their um fly line and put a little rubber band to their weight and then they got like a reverse dropper loop or i mean a reverse uh drop shot 
just by adding their weight. I just sit down and make up two or three of them so I don't have to feed that all day. Yeah, that's what I did last night. I actually found a 20 minutes to do it. I stayed up 20 minutes later than I wanted to <laughs> rig up some. Yeah, I was definitely the last one to get ready for that. Good, all my lead still in the boat. Start off on a drift. Hold two to four ounces of lead. Shouldn't need more than that. I believe I'm sitting with two. Starting with two. I'll do the same. The leader's pretty long. Uh, yeah, just gonna use the red slider, the tube slider. And uh, it might get funky. Dental mental rod and reel. This is my buddy's. Uh, uncle that passed away and my buddy had has recently passed away too wow. so this is a sentimental rod and reel combo to me okay. i was holding on to it for him to come fish with me when he had the chances and it was his uncle set up and then unfortunately he passed away recently too now so i what so i in, in, natural in, causes or accident accident down in mexico in mexico yeah uh oh. Uh, what's the mission? Halibut! Halibut! Oh, Halibut! The rubber bands that I grabbed are too long. Um, I have some with me if you need. You have clear? Um, the little clear? I have the, I think, I should have some of the little clear guys on me and I have some black UVs on me. Let me make sure I have those little clears on me. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I tiny. should. If not, I'll have to live with uh, one or two falling off on me. Which is falling. Should I, should I, should. I'm gonna have to learn your seat on this. Yeah, lift, and lift and shift. Lift and shift, huh? Yeah. See on the sides, all the grooves. Gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. All right. I even I normally do this sometimes. Just get it on this side, uh -huh. and then now put this here. Oh, perfect. Okay, you know? gotcha. Especially for just, oh yeah, that's a really nice bait today. Yeah. A little frugal at that center compared to ours. What was that? A little frugal, like for the amount. Oh, right, Purchased right. per buck. Yeah, per well, buck. I don't know if you notice his body language. When I give him the tip, he almost went back to the scoop. <laughs> I, I saw that. Did you? Like, oh, baby, come Did on. You? Do, uh, it, honestly, do it, do if, it, do wait, it. Wait, if I would have asked, he would have, but this I'm is plenty. Sure. We are going to yeah. have more than enough, especially if we get on a good bite. We'll have too much. <laughs> now, I didn't look at the meter on what downward face. See, these oh, little sections. Put us right on a spot, please do. No, no, look at the bait on the bottom. I mean, yeah. Might as well just try to get out. That's what I was thinking See too. See what the section has to offer, but I'll show you what we've been landing on lately down in our area. Please do. See if that San Diego 
signs work over here in Huntington. You little farming. All right. Nice lively bait. Start off with the drift, you guys. We're gonna probably drift most of the day, and if we don't get one on the drift, we'll switch it up to the bounce ball rig. Those uh, two sliders slide so nicely, making it on a straight drop, and uh, spin them up sometimes. So I, I lob it a little bit, keep that big fat. Ooh, look at the way the current's going. Usually it's pushing us towards Huntington. The breeze is also in our face. It's usually to our back, huh? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Already little guy. played with? Little, little guy. Must be some bass or bottle fish in the area. Sounds like owning setups acres. I usually can tell right away when I'm in my harbor, but being a new place. Ooh, my bait is freaking out. Freaking out. Freak right. out. Freak out. Man, I need to clean up this uh, little pit of hooks in here. It's become my little dump area. <laughs> I do that, and every now and then I'll go and grab it all and cut all off the leaders, oil the hooks, That's it. <laughs> put it back in the box. <laughs> Chunky, chunkier bottom than I thought. See, we're blowing one way right back up on top of our bait. I'm not fooling Oh yeah, I'm back quite a bit. Work, work good. Mine right back under the boat already. There it is, my leader. Right back under the boat. So we should be really good now. Oh yeah. Sometimes like to get the boat in the right direction too. Right there, that little boat. Is that a, a, that mooring or a boat? Or the mooring? Yeah, I think that's the mooring. Just about that section. This one, this section. Uh, but, uh, if you yeah. want to pinpoint a spot, please let me know. I'll I'll line in. And I'll reel in anytime. I'll happily, happily let you pinpoint a spot. <laughs> Got a I'm a patient fisherman, you know, I get on a spot and I'll drift about all day long if I have to, or bounce ball around all day long if I have to, and wait for that last minute fight. If I'm, you know. Yeah, I'm used to my sections with my little marks, everybody typically is. Oh, there we go. Come on. I love those bait runners. Oh, yeah, I love it when they sound off. All the... I want to get rid of all my spinners that aren't bait runners. <laughs> That's it, yeah. I really like the two drag system on the spinner yeah. reels. The Saragossa, I had a pin one that I tried. Oh, first. Yeah. 
first trip, I'm wondering if I have bait on. Well, you guys have been safe, all right. This is a good bottom. It's a little chunky. Little, but little bit. It's still good, not getting caught up. Exactly. It's still pulling, it's still pulling over. Make sure my drag isn't too high. Oh, in. my drag is way too high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man, imagine that. California halibut pulling you in. That would be awesome. That would be my luck after about 18. Full one. I've been using uh, the rod holders, those, uh, those cannons that pivot all ways. Okay. And they have the handle grip to lift them. Really slick. Yeah. Really neat. But nice. the plastic insert that keeps them up, about every year and a half, they go bad. Boy, you have to put a strap on the holder and clip it to your reel. If those go, it just points straight down and your rig gone. Right. Yeah. Kind of pain in the butt, but very dangerous. Yeah. Slower than usual for our. We don't need no education. Jamie over on YouTube, what are we after and where? Or James, sorry, not Jamie. James over on YouTube is asking, what are we after and where? We're on Huntington Flats off the coast of Orange County, California, and we are drifting for halibut, California halibut. It's a flatfish, flounder species, uh, but they get bigger than flounder. Not as big as Pacific halibut, but it's definitely a fun, fun fish to fish for. A uh, little bit of a hit or a miss of a fishery. It's not like something where you're gonna go out and be like, I'm catching halibut, guaranteed today, no matter what, would be nice. But it's, it's not how it goes with halibut. Get out here and do it as well as we can. But day of fishing is better than a day of working, huh? Zippity doo dah, zippity yeah. My, my. Okay, see the two pelicans over there? They're sitting on a yeah, like a, a horseshoe okay. where it comes up shallow, and then this is reversed. That's showing this boat, correct? Is that true? Um, is that that boat, or is that the? Yeah, that's him. That's it's him. The only boat so is on the. It's yeah. Kind of backwards. For me. Yeah, this is north up. Correct. At all you times. You have it north up. Yeah. Mine, I, I let it fit. Okay. Yeah. Swim. So, I would probably try in on them and a little closer, because it looks like if that's north up and that's him, those are those. We would be. Probably where the the um, east symbol yeah. is on that back that back right. slip right here. Those are the contours. Anything facing that way, that right. slope in, would be a target. And I wouldn't mess much time on anything that doesn't have that right, right now. Let's do it. And you, you can bring see lines we in don't and... have bait, and there's plenty of bait over there. I'm, I'm watching. 
Yeah, we're not. Uh, we're on a little bit of a contour, but not as drastic. That's for sure. Yeah, we need a, a, a more drastic. So contour. should we bring it them, bring them in, and I, I yeah, let's do it, dude. I'm I'm learning, man. It's I'm a, learning. It's a, it's a, it's a, I'm a, I'm the type that lately has been get the bounce balls in and cover more ground and cover the ground. Uh huh. Um, so with the oh I'll I'll I'll, I'll throw this rig while you go. With the drifting, um, <coughs> you know I'm always open to try to pinpoint the positions more on the drift. Oh, I think I had a booby prize on the end of the line, a tiny one. Uh, not a hell of it, but a tiny excuse to get some work. Something that it grabs on. We're, we're definitely in flounder territory. Plenty of those around here. What's that? Those flounder, the little, or sand dabs. Oh, yeah. Me. We're a little shallow for sand dab, but it could happen. Oh. Driven BS. Thank you for the follow. What about a shit day of fishing while it's your work <laughs> hey hey uh, yeah it happens though you guys are still with me and i'm still fishing you know even if it's a shit day i still get out here and put the effort to it for y'all i had some i had something grab i took 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 my top one and toothed up my bottom one. Oh yeah yeah uh, i knew a little varmint was saying hello why halibut fishing i try not to put my rod down but man do i get bored <laughs> oh, yeah. but yeah i try not to yeah go put us on that spot though man all right all right you're in all, right. all good i'm ready i'm ready Oh, you know. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. What's that? Perfect. Large bottom marks all in that section, and there's that downslope I was talking about. Hmm. Maybe were we just that little bit off? Take, take a look. Now you have bottom fish, right? right. Yeah, we that it was like that when you were when you were but, saying something. But look at the size of these fish. And there's like four of them. There's like four fish on this right here. Not scattered baits and stuff, but your transducer is back right. It's right, uh, right on the bot below my, okay. below my feet now. <laughs> Look. Yeah. There's there's the start of one, but wait until you see these others. Yeah. There's definitely some bass and something there. There's something there. It looks rocky, like there's a little rock hump right there. So what was we our were just getting to them. original drift line was, I guess this, right? We were it just was, getting was, to was, it. Yeah. yeah, we were just getting into that whole little run. Yeah, wow. so maybe get us up or and just I wait hope it my out. Or... Stayed there. Oh, they did. Cool, cool. Yeah, the pelicans they love to sit on bait balls. Yeah. Yeah, our area, it's been cold, so. Right. They've been, uh, like, in in packs of threes and fours and not dozens. Yeah, I've noticed that, too. Our necks are really high in the air, trying to peek over that swell. They're gonna get all mad at us. Hopefully not dive down and take our bait. I took my fly line. I have a fly line on one, but not that time of year. Yeah, just a little bit better slope here. That they're sitting on with a sandy pinnacle or some kind of
Wow, should have gave it about five more minutes. Those were some good marks. Oh yeah. So we have bait on the bottom. We have a debris or a rock pile. Yeah. And bam. Just I expect to see what this whole area over. is probably good. We should probably and just, we're drifting that yeah, way. Yeah, we should probably just give it a good couple drifts over this whole freaking zone. Yeah, I I'm not shy of going inside. No, either. me neither. Sometimes that's where they stack up is closer. Okay, I'm gonna check this one. I'm gonna check that one really quick. Yeah. Because there was one good mark right there. And with halibut, you're not picking up that mark, you're just picking up all of a sudden it's a hard lump. See, I'm going to that second where it's a little steeper right there by about six feet, which for flats, it's pretty When it goes slack around here, I sure like hunting these in 220. See, I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Well, this is our first drift line here from there to there. Yep. So, and remember the end of it. That was some neat stuff. Yeah. See, I like that. That little pocket had something right there. We don't have a whole lot of wind to kind of push us around. No, I honestly will bump it, bump us in and out a lot of the times okay. when I'm doing this, you know? Uh, I would just like to keep that. a path or if I want to, oh, that's Let's nice. See, this is nice what? A little sand bass is, or something. Yeah. A little, nice little pocket, yeah. There's definitely fish here. Someone put a mark on the outside of it there. That's a community mark. Someone did that. Yeah, and I, I like that because you see how yeah, it's that's that a, face. This is what it's I thought. That facing. The, right. I thought this could have been the bird that you could have been mistaken for. You thought, you know, originally way over here. You're like, yeah. no, that's too far over there. And then I came and looked over here. I was like, well, maybe this that's is the, the bird. One. Yeah. yeah. So, and see where he's at, where the three come together, yeah. where it's steeper, where it's steeper, and then it faces that way. Yeah. That's what I like. So, go get on. I wouldn't try, I, we could, I'm not Honestly, seeing Honestly, I'm seeing all this as good potential, you know, it just, the mm -hmm. longer we have the baits in the water, the better, really. Correct. Take, it, take us to that section. I'm not. Okay. Confident, because look at how high the bait staying away from right. the bottom. We so we need here? to see we need to see that bait unless we go in. So this is deeper here. Yep, it is. And I deep is fine with me. Okay. But see how the bait's sitting in in the first 15 feet. That tells me to go in because yeah. we don't have much current, and we want that bait to be sitting a lot closer, you know, to that bottom spectrum. So, I, I'm i either comfortable going in, in, <laughs> in. Ooh, that's right where that drop is. That's, or where it's yeah, sloping down that, a little yeah. bit, yep. Either go in and find the bait closer to the bottom or go out to where that shelf. Come on around the corner. Is this bag right here our fluid? Yes. Go! 
not very far from the pipe. No. Inside that pipe. Excellent fishing. For everything. Yeah, I've had buddies catch white sea bass there. Yeah. I think it's my first little bass calendar fish. Never fished this close to this one. There's some good bottom, good bottom marks. Come look at this. How chunky, how rocky does it look? That's what we kind of need to avoid. Is this oh, I like that stopped? mark. I like that mark. Hell of it saying hi. No bait though. Look at how high the bait yeah. is. That mooring buoy has a cable from there to the rig, doesn't it? I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll find out real I, quick. I think it just goes straight to a normal mooring anchor, a heavy duty mooring anchor, but you know. Andy Virus, how's it going? Lee G, good morning. Oh yeah, there's some marks down there. Oh, oh, the bait, there's bait. Right. There it is. Oh, there it is. Woo, Ooh, there dirty. It is. Let's get this down. Should we go get ahead of it a little bit or sure, just get it down? Breaking left or port. I'm gonna, of our trip. Yeah, spin us around a little bit. Yeah, I just break hard left. And there's fish on it too. Yeah, did you see that? Yep. Yeah. Oh, and there's even better bottom look right there, so. This is all looking good. Yeah, I would almost go a couple more yards because we are gonna get the port. Long Beach, correct? Which yeah. Which is odd. Those Ooh. currents are backwards. Ooh. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, yeah, and this Shoot. is all... I should just put a slider on without a halibut rig. Nah, I like the halibut That's rig. all bait. Yeah, that's Sorry, all bait down. right there. Fishy, 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 fishy. Ah. Like that. Say no, you can't turn that way. And the net should be right here. Where's the net? I'm pretty good about grabbing. Okay. Good. Right, I was just making sure. I was all. Here's the bottom. We're Mr. Halibut, eat a mile. King Mac, let's go, haha. Uh -huh. And oil root. Yes, we are right next to the one of the oh, Huntington Beach oil rigs right there. Get away with 
a half quarter quarter ounce. Half ounce. Yeah, <laughs> with this yeah. with this current or Bump us a little bit. Never fished here before. Well, in the private boat. Yeah, I'm gonna be on the El Dorado this weekend. All right. Lincog jig, a sponsored trip. What kind of jig? Lincog jigs. It's oh. it's a brand. Lincogjigs.com. Uh, sponsored. I'll be live streaming it. I like the Eldorado. We'll go to the island. Yeah, we'll go to San Nicolas. Oh really? Yeah, it's an overnight trip. Oh how fun. This is a good drift. Yeah, it's a <laughs> they, good even drift. with these two ounce weights, I'm on the bottom. Me too. It's grabbing good, yeah. but it's not, thankfully, it's not brutal. Oh, this is nice. I think it's sand, 100% sand right down here. Compared to the first spot, it was a little chunky. I don't know, I'm not pretty good Oh, here we go. There's that drift, there's that area we're looking for. Put our baits right on it. 43, 43, 44, we have started at 42. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. So where about are we? Okay, so this is the uh, Bolsa Chica inlet right here and this is a very fishy area <laughs> because of that even yeah the halibut will go in there hang out come out here eat go back in there to sleep and hang out i've always done well in that, in that pocket where we entered yeah uh, on my way home i'll just be off around a troll there's always a barracuda along here <laughs> Fishy, fishy, fishy. The bass are in a spawn right now. Really good marks here compared to the first drift. Yeah. I'm surprised. Try to have the good stuff that the little guys have. Fine by me. Let the competition come up and snag it from the little guy. Oh, my, my, oh, oh. Oh. What's going on down there? What's going on down there? Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Thanks for the follow. I need to turn my Bluetooth on so it comes out of the speakers. Oh man, I was getting my bait was waking up there. Prince and Pirate over on YouTube, welcome back. Oh, I could turn the camera back around. My bad, you guys, my bad. Showing you guys the rig and the boat turned around. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Jesse. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, ooh, that's a good ooh. Come on. It looks like a little nibble. Come on.
It's always nice when something's chasing your bait around, though, you know? Compared to yeah. not even even small fish being around is a sign of a bigger fish could easily come through. Especially when it comes to lingcod fishing. Whew. Man. I have this bait cage. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. I like it when it picks up and it hits and just stops like that. Dude, lock, look at the bottom. Lock grab here, but I'm starting to hit. Look yeah, at, there you go. That there you go. is some now, sexy marks right there. Yep. That's... We've got plenty of life down there. Looks like I might have to go to a small slider. Smaller slider single without this bigger halibut rig. Yeah, I started off with my 15 pound with the smaller, with the 2 watt bird hook or octopus hook and a and I think like a size eight or six treble. Oh I went big on my treble because yeah. I was gonna load it I was gonna band it. I was gonna put a rubber band on it. And, uh... Ooh nice bait ball. Nice Let marks below the bait ball. Quick. Look at this mark right there yep. chasing that bait ball up. Let me sneak under you real quick. Yeah. Bait. Oh my goodness, come on, bite. This is as good as the marks that I've seen in probably two weeks. My bait's freaking out down there right now. Shit, my bait had fallen off and the treble hook stuck it in the belly. That is classic. Yeah, I just butt hooked the treble, turn it into a double. Well, there you go. It was just stuck, so I said, eh, I don't think they're that big. Just stuck it in the belly. Yeah, I normally have those clear rubber bands. It must be in my other bag. I do, mine are large. I, I, could, I can uh, cut them in half. Wow, it is slack tied. I am just straight up and down, wrong rig to that. Yeah, there, I'll, I'll, I'll bump us, I'll bump us. I need to get a bounce ball. <laughs> I'll bump us. I need to get myself like a base with a dropper. Pull up the oil rig and catch a grouper. Uh, this oil rig doesn't hold grouper like in Florida. This oil rig would hold sand bass, calico bass, uh, maybe some halibut towards the bottom. In about five, four months from now. Yeah, maybe, and then pelagics will come hang out around them sometimes, yellowtail and white sea bass. But the outer ones definitely get the pelagics a lot more than these inner ones. These inner ones are only in 40 feet of water, 50 feet of water. The outer ones are in about 200 to 300 feet of water. How deep are those doubles that are over by the 150? I'm pretty sure about 200 or so, 250. Oh, okay. That yeah, makes sense. It's right along the edge of the canyon. Yeah. Like another mile and you get you hit the canyon. Oh, like uh, talent. Uh, Tetit over on YouTube. How far can you fish from the oil rig? Technically, we're supposed to be 500 feet away from it, but people <laughs> literally They'll go and toss right on. If they're not running operations, they won't. They don't care. If they're running operations, they'll get on the speaker or they'll even come out to the where your boat is and say, "Hey, could you please move back? We're do, about to do something." They'll hail and, you on and, seventy-two. And that's it. That's it. And of course, you move. If you don't move, then they might call Harbor Patrol because you're interfering with their operations. But very rarely is there like a diver on it. If there's a diver on it, that they'll definitely be like, "Hey." get away you know we don't want you to hook our diver but etiquette wise when right. there's a diver out they'll flag it yeah they'll see that yeah out. exactly lots of jellyfish in the water over here we're getting those floaters get we're getting California. those uh i saw a couple of the sail ones already too oh Ooh. did you just get it too yeah we both just got hit <laughs> at the same time both of our baits freaked out at the same time kind of at the same angle of that 
the bottom's kind of yeah. quiet too but yeah. we're probably over our lines are probably over uh, those oh, old but, lines. yeah and we're about to come over in another contour not in not too long this is a, i think this is a pretty good drift i think at least to the end of the yellow wow i'm not used to it being slow it makes me want to bump it a little bit i normally like to drift within a knot well, around a knot yeah it is really slow yeah. right now as if we're a slack tide you can bump yeah. I, I don't mind i like covering ground yeah here fishy 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 plus it helps keep your bait moving too <laughs> keep some strong wheel yeah i went to cat last wednesday and uh drifted some of my spots i really like and i only caught a couple shorts and the shorts we did catch were was spitting out squid so i was like damn uh, they're probably telling they the probably little tiny in. squid the bed yeah, the, the yeah. bed squid yeah. the ones that are just got them bedding yeah so i was i figured they're just keened in on the on the squid over back in there should have went east end. When I have fin bait, I'm, I figure I'm gonna go east end to those spots. When I have squid, I'm gonna I'll go to my west end backside spots. We didn't have that wind coming to meet us at one o'clock today. It have been fun today to would have almost been a nice enough day for sure. Wednesday is a nice enough Catalina day, but I think I'm gonna drift for a swordfish because it's a nice enough day all day. I think. I just got a 30 wide for that. I just got myself a new rig. For Thirty it. wide is just enough. You kind, you almost want more, but it's, it's I'll just put enough. I'll braid, and I think it's just gonna be yeah, plenty. Put, I'd put eighty for so if you're planning to use it for swordfish. Yeah, oh, I'll take that. If you plan on using it for uh, swordfish and tuna, then you know, that, go that, go ahead and put the hundred on there. But for just swordfish, you definitely want. 80 to 100 max. Well, we went through that little wave where we're mad macking at 400,000 knots. Right. <laughs> and uh, needed a little bit more backbone. Yeah, uh, I with the titanium spreader bars and the Mad Max, you definitely want um, a, a 15, 16 minimum in the big game reels. Um, yeah, that's what I've come to the conclusion. Oh, you little shit, McLatro. I was like, what's that clicking? Is that your reel? Is that my reel? Yeah. So uh, there's a sound bit that people could pay to try to trick. <laughs> I added that. Oh. So, you know, it's just a little motivation for people to tip and donate, you know, and it, and it gives them gives them something for giving me something you know little interaction but no that one with how low the speakers are right now i was normally the speakers are really loud so it doesn't get me all the time but with how low that speaker was right now i was like which one's going off <laughs> too funny i have it on live really really low to let it out oh. right no, I Get when away I from the boat. and when I fish for halibut, I like to have pretty much open drag and with the clicker on. That way, um, I, because they'll soft lip it a lot of the times and just oh, yeah. and just hold it in their mouth for a little while because they got teeth, oh, yeah. and those teeth won't let it go of a bait once they got them before they it down, you know. So, um, and that's a lot of the time where you win, is when people miss their bite is in that opportunity is when they're soft lifting it and they can't fill it. If you can feel it they can't uh, i can That's for some they... reason they can't and um you have to set the hook in that moment and um that, if you that that tube slider makes that that difference it helps sure. a little hey, yeah. there we go there we go there we go come on i agree i really like having a free weight swim halibut fishing having a my my main line through wired if you will yeah, I've never fished here, this rig. So this is an exploratory for me. Same. I've been fishing the shelf mainly. All my good spots are on the shelf. Everyone 
all my friends have been saying go to honey or go to hb flats go to hb flats and i'm like i just haven't prospected there yet so you know sometimes it's hard to go somewhere when you haven't done much prospecting when, when this uh, slack tide occurs it is better to go closer to the beach but again when it goes completely slack i really like 220 feet it sounds funny but man do i do great at that deeper deeper water but then again i have confidence in the zone because i have mine zeroed in where i'm at right it on that side so I can stay away from you. Mm. You good? I could, uh, I should point the boat and have them off the back. Because yeah. this really slack tide is not moving us. Nope. We should be helping, we should be helping ourselves by bumping. I have an uh, electric motor on the front of mine. Oh, I envy and you. I, I hit yeah. it, just put it at one mile per hour. I envy you. I want one, but you know, that's a three Here grand we investment. Here we go. You were talking about that slack bike, that pickup that yep. just got heavy. Look, when I put my finger on it, you got some. You were bumping it and it moved it. I think he picked it up because it got pretty, pretty heavy. I only have eight pounds going to my weight, so I'm very thankful I haven't donated yet. Right. <laughs> no, that's a pretty smooth bottom yeah. for the most part. I don't that know. first spot had a little bit of grab here and there, but... We went through that little... where we saw those meter marks. It was pretty good there for me. There's some pretty good... Uh, Beat patches going on on the surface over there on the outside a little bit more. Might be a bunch of small bats. Just past that anchorage buoy. Yeah. They, uh, been coming up over there. It's cold water. Those bats. The 58 who warmed up over here compared to in Long Beach. Aha, I like that sign. Up. I hear you, friendly area sea lions. I hear you, friendly area sea lions. And our tack, man. Yeah, the birds are even dropping on the bait over there. We got three, four birds. I don't know if your cameras are looking out fast and far enough, but they're dropping on that bait. Hehe. <laughs> So we're just about outside that yellow area. All right. Now that yellow area is that uh, I don't sanctuary, know. a dump site. I don't know. Maybe it, we, I think it? it was an artificial. I think it's just an artificial area, possibly. But it you could have been a. Rock? It could be those red cars that were dumped a long time ago, and those could be practically decayed to nothing by now. It's just buried. You know, it's just a little. I would be surprised, but I have always wanted to come out here and dive to see what it looks like down there. Oh, wouldn't that be good? I can't do that much anymore in those deeper depths. My ears just don't allow it anymore. Yeah. Even in 40, 50? Yeah. All right. At 12, and I start whining like a little baby. Oh, yeah. You can't You can't clear? No. It don't work? Dang. No, yeah, I've had some so people. Many surgeries on my yeah. ears. Some people can't too, anyway, you know, for whatever reason, surgery or health issue or, you know. When you bump it, it sure feels good. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm With that open it. drag you got over there, yeah. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to say hello. Another uh, flat, mar flat looking mark there again. 
I was sure seeing a lot of those last Sunday in San Diego when we saw those flat marks and we were picking up some big halibut. I'm like, all right, they are halibut. Because you never know what the heck they're going to be around here. Right. So many black sea bass in that zone where we were at. Did you see the great white shark that uh, caught in the Gulf last month in Alabama? No, I didn't. Are, are whites common in the Gulf? They're common over here. Yes, very common. Here. We're not allowed to fish them though. They're protected over in our waters. People do though. They claim to be fishing for other species and they get them as a bycatch, but it's complete bogey. They are 100% fishing for them. They're the only species out here that takes that type of rig. All the other sharks in our area do not take that type of rig. My wife got to see how mean nature is. We went up to Morro Bay and they have the elephant seals and their pups and the great whites are coming up and just destroying them. Destroying them. And she, she now sees the power of a, a great white. Oh yeah. And how big and mean the elephant seals are. Thor, not yet. We're on our second little drift. We're probably gonna pick up, uh, bring them in again and start another drift here soon. Or we're just uh, finishing this one out. It is so slack. Crazy. There is no current to the here. Yeah, even the wind is nice and calm too. Yeah. So, one or the other, please. <laughs> yep. so I'll take the current over oh. the wind all day long. Yes. Yeah, you sometimes. That w word. We, oh, there, the bait just got pu pushed up right here. Yep. There. Yep. There. Oh, yeah. Yep. There we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at all the little oh, pinners. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's attached. No, that's not attached, is it? What? That kelp, the... No, that's a floater. Caught it out of the corner of my eye and I had the glare from my side. Yeah, look at all that bait getting pushed up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mackerel. That's a little bass mm -hmm. going on. Our mackerel under there. Hey, yep. A lot of the times I see the and I go and cast on it, boom, mackerel. I wouldn't mind putting a nice fat mackerel on. Do you have a rig? Yeah, I got it. Get some little guys. Right here. Yeah, let's see your magic making be. You want me to break up a little uh my dead fish on my rod and put nah, pieces on there? If for they're me? mackerel, they'll eat this naked. Oh yeah. We have finicky mackerel lately. I have uh, those two, two. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Here, Mac Attack. Yeah, get, get us a couple Macs. I would feel a whole lot better throwing a giant macro out there, Jack. And I have the rig for it right now. Nice try. That's coming from the speakers. <laughs> Spanish Mac are fun to catch. All Mac are pretty fun to catch, depending on what setup you're using to catch them. Yeah, honestly, if you want to move in during the slack tide, I don't. Yeah, I, I I'll help. try something new. You get to go try by the outlet or, you know. I've never done that, but I know look they... at the line of bait. You can see the bait on your left. Yeah. In the center and on the right, there's just a line of it. You can kind of see their, their pattern of the way they're moving in and, and down. But again, it's so slack that they... They have free rain moving around. Usually it blows around this corner pretty good. But 
There, and there's other reefs and stuff closer in too over here that we could go around that's gonna build have nothing but sand built up around them because this is all you know A sandy sand beach belt. with only artificial reefs yep. so in the artificial reefs they hold bait and so the uh halibut will stack up around them I'm surprised you don't see any of those crab traps left over there. Or the fishing game traps. The survey traps. I haven't seen one out here. They're sure loaded down in the Dana area. Are they? Yeah. Well, I'm uh, okay with moving. Alright, sounds great. Yeah. You know, once you get into a couple halibut, you know you're in the zone, but we haven't even had a friendly hello, good morning. All right, bait, you've done me well. I'm gonna let you free. As free as the wind. survived another day, oh, Mr. Dean. Don't go and get eaten now. Oh, I'm coming in with uh, one of my eggs in my clip off. Hey, how's it going? Good morning, Jeremy and water people. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you too, Will. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. See, this whole zone goes all the way to about 17, 20 feet. Should we just go see how it looks over there? Sure, let's move in. And Find the I see a lot of birds working the beach. Yeah, there's a rock uh, pile up there we could work around. Possibly. We work around. Just no current, no wind. That's a right. tough halibut thing. I really need to change rigs, but I didn't bring enough rods to mix it up like that. You, you don't think yours is good? I think yours is great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But there's something in mind that I have with oh, a slider okay. and I. It's like, oh. I'm just using a normal drift rig, halibut rig, you know, where it's swivel on the top, swivel on the bottom. You put the weight on the bottom, and then there's a bead, swivel, bead, and then on the swivel, there's my leader. I saw And I it. put the, in the, you know, that way the bait could go up and down and 360. And they, they, they work. Honestly, there's times where I could literally feel the bait trying to run away from something and to me that's better let the bait maneuver away from something aggressive because it's going to make it that much harder to work for that bite you know but i have i have so many friends that are all for the reverse drop shot which is just uh, uh weight up the line three or four feet you know and that's just all to each their own I thought about putting the simple Carolina on that. Slider. Good old trap Some of the marketing here earlier, I see a lot of scales in the water. Good old scales underneath the foam. Yeah. The anchovies. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of chovies here. The, um, the charters have been complaining to the bait companies because they want chovies for the sand bass. And, um, but the bait barges don't like carrying them because the average buyer doesn't buy them. Whoa, that used to be the best bait. Brown bait, sardines, I didn't want them. Yeah. 
Apparently you have to hook them differently, right? Then oh, a D. They are so delicate. Yeah. Sliders, wiry hooks, and lighter line, and much finessier. Uh, uh, oh, they are so delicate. How's it on? Looks always wanted to better than Q. Check this out. Always wanted to. Party boats don't come over here. Jad Ranko, how's it going, bro? Yeah, the party boats, I catch them in here sometimes. Rarely, but I, I find them over here sometimes. They'll anchor off and chum the crap out of it and pick off all the sand bass. But I don't see them do drifts much through here. We're, we're not far from that, uh, that oyster farm or whatever. Right, yeah, the, the mu muscle farm, right. Boy, I had some fun days in here. That's a good size. The bait's still in here on the inside. That's going over. Well like there was a good run of them. There's good marks throughout this whole area. It's just going to be a matter of getting on that right drift. The more drifts we get, the better chance I feel like today with this, until the tide starts moving at least. Maybe uh, the swell closer into the water though, or in shallower waters will move the boat and the water around, even without current. That's Bolsa Chica, yeah. Yeah, it looks like we are looking at that inlet. Uh, it, it gets built up on the left side quite a bit. Look at all the fish on, I mean, all the birds on the sand, on this high zone. Uh, 25. Oh, there's there's stuff here though, as in like bottom. When that stuff, tide starts rolling in, look at all the birds dropped in behind us on the bait over there. Um, when the tide starts rolling in really good, we're gonna have that current for a trip, but you can see the level of birds just outside. Look, boom, 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 boom. So we're gonna blow right back to them. Yeah, should we drift on the out, inside of the shallow side of the rocks or the deep side of the rocks? Deep side, anything that's east. Yeah. East face, east side of the rock. Ooh, it looks rocky over here. You can see the discoloration. Okay, let's uh, bump it just a bit over here, maybe 100 yards, and then get them in. Yeah, because look at all the birds. Yeah, we'll drift we'll, we'll, oh, I'm hoping we'll drift right through there. Oh, nice bait here. Coming up. Maybe like a diver. Yeah, the, the air bubbles came up on the freaking on the fish finder. <laughs> they were big and a lot of them. Something's stirring up the bottom right there. Oh, oops, sorry. Oh, uh, the snorkeler that came up off the beach. Oh, he has 
no markers, even shore diving, you still want your freaking buoy up. Exactly. Ooh, I love the way that swells coming up and over this. That felt good. That even felt good. All right. Beat up. Green back, green back. Give me a green back. Right in my hand, I guess that's who wants to be eaten. Yep. He says, are you taking people out into the ocean? I'll go. Very lively bait compared to the last one I had. Nice shallower waters. Oh, that's who was steering up the bottom right there. Oh, tax man. You're right, something was down there steering up the bottom. Chewing on our halibut. Meanie. bait next, you know that. I just tied a halibut rig. We were at Shelter Island. We put it out and a tax man grabbed it, but since there's a trouble hook stinger, it caught him. And he was jumping like a marlin. And uh, destroyed the drag of my buddy's reel. Suspended marks. Then a little bit larger. That looks chunky for a sandy beach front. A little hard bottom. Is that hard bottom or is that just a bunch of little white fish marks? Oh, uh, that might have been a bed or something, yeah. Yeah, Look that's that. definitely marks. That's definitely a bunch of grunion style fish. Yeah. Moving beach. Dope straight there. Now I'm gonna get bit and I'm gonna be all slow because I'm gonna think it's him. <laughs> Sniper, how's it going?
I want a big fat Italian to take her home with the me. I want a big ass heavy. Bit on slack line, but it comes into the bay. I wonder what the tide is doing. So it's not slack, it's going down. Yeah. I notice it's swelling around in here because the way yours is picked up. a guy that's in Idaho right now and but he's got a house like an hour inland and he's got like a hundred hundred and twenty pounds of lead or something like this and, uh, he has it up for like six hundred dollars our best offer with three molds so I just messaged him saying hey have you gotten any realistic offers yet uh, just to let you know this is what I'll pay per pound and this is what I'll pay per mold no pressure, open offer, because with what he has up, it's a low ball. It's 100% low ball. So I didn't give him the actual number. I just told him what I'd pay per pound and per mold and let him do the math, you know? Yeah. And um, and he got back with me saying, you know, at your price, it's this, but I, if you come up 30 more bucks, I'll do it. And 30 bucks ain't gonna break, you know? Yeah. You know it's like, I could. there's three molds. So I was like, okay, 10 more bucks per, per, towards per mold or something, you know? And, and what style and, molds um, are they? Uh, they're all they're all cannonballs. Wow. But yeah, um, but yeah, I'm like uh, for a dollar a pound, I'll take it. Boy, it's pushing us right into the beach. So flabbergasted about the way the currents are today. Yeah, we're actually getting turned around now that I stopped the bump. I was thinking we didn't need the bump, but no, we don't. We're moving the knot. We're just. I guess I was forcing a different I'm not dragging the ball. Pattern. Oh, there you go. Well, that's the swell pulling on me. You were slack, I was slack. Yeah. My weight's just sitting in one spot. Yeah, that's why I like that drift rig a lot too, because even during slack, it gives your bait that opportunity to swim in that whole zone. Three feet up, three feet down, and six feet radius. Ooh. I can see your bait working there, Tim. Yeah, you I got see a lively them. bait. Yeah. Oh, look at those marks. I have a glare I can't see. Oh yeah, there you go. A bunch of Max coming through, huh?
mind if I bump it? Yeah, go for it. Of course. Our line's got a little too slack. Now I feel like uh, the bump I was doing was a forced drift, and if a natural drift is kind of, would be going a different direction. Yeah. Then that's what's happening. It's when I stop bumping, the natural drift is like, no, we're not going that way. We're going this way. We're kind of just hovering. No, yeah, we were, yeah, we're, we're, we were turning around there for a bit. Well, we're in this little pocket from that harbor to the base of this beach. If you look at, if you look at the map, my force drift was all this. Yeah. Flying, and then when it started to drift on its own, it started turning this way. Yeah, I never fished outside of this house bar. But I will never give up. No. Thank God. Now, if we move, I have a question because you know the area a little better. Uh huh. If we move, let's say we go and we're facing towards the tip of Catalina, that uh -huh. direction. And we get so far out that, you know, you hit that 80, 90 feet of water, okay, one pin. Are we going to start picking up our usual west currents? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, in here it's protected, but you can I, get a nice good current drift out there. When you get close to the shelf, yeah, but it's oh, a bit deeper. Yeah. It's a bit deeper than that 100, it, you know. To catch that current? Right. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because I was hoping... Cause that, but that's a great zone for houses. Yeah. yeah, if we went... 1 to 110 is a great zone for houses. I love it. Yeah. So I was hoping like to, to cut that way and just, you know. Yeah. I don't mind. Hey, if you have any suggestions, let's try them, man. Well, I don't know your current, I don't know your zone, right. especially when it's funky like this. I'm always over here and it's just blowing like mad. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful nasty day today. Here. So the hundred mark. There's a lot of contours at that 100 mark. Perfect. Let's go find a contour. Um, but actually, yeah, the edge of the shelf is over 120, 130, 115, 110. Yeah, right. we honestly might be able to catch it All right. on that on that area right there. We're going through some fishy a fishy bit right now though. I'd say give this spot another five. Oh, all the bubbles coming up right here. Oh, is that it, it's the marker. It, that's the mark. Yeah, this right here. Maybe it's a big old halibut yawning. So funny, that's halibut, man. They freaking love to try to get a bite out of you. Have you noticed that? Have you ever been bitten by one? No, but I've had them creeping up on me. Oh, like, they love to try to get a bite out of you. Really? Uh, the halibut? Oh, Never yeah. They could get, if, if they could bite you, they will. I've gotten bit by them, and their, their little needle, um, their little needle teeth just feels like you, um, you got hit by a cactus. Oh, and maybe your ball caught on something. Yeah. I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. I noticed your rod bounce. No worries. But I think it was an up bounce instead of down pull bounce. <laughs> Sorry, I just no caught my corner of my eye. It was a pretty good little. I've got watched a lot of YouTube videos of people catching some really nice halibut fishing that on shore uh, at my outlet at Bolsa Chica. So I know for a fact halibut come in through that through that highway. Look, the the yeah. taxman, a really big one, a sea lion come flying clear out of the water, and he had something in his mouth. They they love halibut. Holy crap, I've seen them thrush, thrush around some good sized halibut in PV. You know what I miss at this very time of the year is our barracuda were here already. Yeah, it's taking a little bit longer and longer each year, sadly. For them Ever since they found those barrels with that date on them, Holy that on. they find that company that were spread out all over here in 120 feet of water. That was the date, the last date that it, all them shut off and stopped. Uh... Look at how aggressive that sea lion over there is uh, yeah, jumping out of the water and, and oh, they're dolphins. 
Excuse me. On oh, the surf line? I don't even know my species anymore. Yeah, the surf line. They're jumping and feeding in there. Yeah, they um, get a lot of dolphin fishing off of, I mean, surfing off of Bolsa Chica. Here, fishy, 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 fishers. Come here, fishy, 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 fishy. Those halibut are really relying on inlets that have moving water. And when you said the lighthouse, that kind of rang a bell. I was like, hmm, maybe. Because it's moving current. But like you said, they're smaller. They're probably ones coming in from the bay. We could do better than this. I think I have to just get finesse, even if it's a sand bass. I think I'm going to have to get. There, I won't. I won't give up. Going to go for a kill shot. Look at that swell just pushed us back about three, four feet. Yeah, we're we're quite, we're bouncing into the current rather than going with it. Well. I'm kind of shocked that nothing said hello. Come on. Yeah. I missed it. Oh, I know you didn't. No way. Did you? Yeah. He picked up and he, there was weight. Gosh dang it. Uh, I got something. That's a good sign. This is like the good idea to stop. It picked up. It stopped. Picked up. It stopped. Got really heavy. And I thought, okay, he's just sitting there. I ne I very rarely miss those. I mean, that was a huge. Oh, my weight's all tied up. I need some dice. I, need this up. I got some in that bag up on the bow. I need to cut this clipper off. You, you have dice up there? Yeah, grab me a pen. On the bow. Uh, in the center bag there? Yep. Definitely going against the <laughs> drift. Uh, Want to go try the other zone? Or? Sure. It's been, I'm sure it's been five minutes. Or do you want to try to get that bike back? Want to um, try to get redeemed on that bike? It was a definite pickup. Right? I got picked up. What it was, who knows? Sea lion. Gosh, this looks like a rocket. 
gorgeous out here. Now I'm too warm and I have to shed. Yep. That's the life of a center console. Shit. Well, then we're going to move too, so <laughs> maybe not. Might nipple up. <coughs> Dang, that's way too after 15 minutes. Toothy marks. Not really. He was beating up on something down there, but not really a bite. Gosh, I was spoiled last Sunday. It was drop it down, bam. Drop it down, bam. Bounce bond's always good too without the current, you know, because you're forcing the. Mm -hmm. Then you're putting on a better show because I normally use Dodgers when I use it oh, when I bounce go. ball. So the Dodgers make it from a distance, makes the halibut think there's a whole school, and then they get close and then they only see the one bait. So they're like, well, I bur burnt that energy, might as well eat the one bait. And they do. <laughs> I've been loving the bounce ball lately. Look at how gorgeous it is out here. Right. It's like. Fishy, 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 fishy. Gosh, I usually don't miss when they, when they pick it up in that solid weight. Right there. Yeah. It sucks when you have a treble and it misses. You know, it's like, how in the world yeah. did it miss? There's a dang treble. Yeah. It drives me absolutely mad. Ow, damn it. Almost did. Bring us back up into that corner. Is that yeah. your idea? Go in with yeah, the if we're not going deep yet, yeah. It's gonna spin us the rack around it. That way we're not fighting it.
fishy, 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 fishies. Supposed to be the spot. Should be. Up the depth. A lot deeper than I expected right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go in a little bit closer on this turnaround. See if that favors us. It's funny right there, yeah. yeah. It's hard to tell. Is that? It's like all the bubbles. Something's really aggressively feeding down there. A bunch of bubbles coming up. Look at it. Something's digging around. Yeah. I wonder if there's any pipes here from Huntington. That's what I was kind of thinking the way. With how the consistent that is? Yeah. That honestly looks like pipe bubbles. Well, we'll find out when our lines get to it, huh? <laughs> exactly, the hard way. Um, yeah, even the bubbles are even showing up on the... Ooh, see, that's fish. pipe bubbles. Pipe bubbles, but yeah. the fish in between it all. Yeah. Yeah. Those are those are pipe bubbles, 100%. Well, being easy, it would be an easier spot to find if we do them. 100% pipe <laughs> bubbles. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. They're streaky. They're um, kinda those everywhere. are pipe bubbles. Cause it's a whole line of pipes right here, I bet, from Huntington Beach. Nice. Look at them. They're showing up on the... Mm -hmm. Throw a camera down there? Yeah. That would be me. Right. Flicker back and forth to your underwater camera. Or have a corner split screen with an underwater camera. Right. I should set something up like that. There. Now I'm going to get close to it. I'll see if I can feel anything. It is a lake out there. Yeah. T Wood, how's it going? Over on YouTube. Appreciate you tuning in. Yo! Thank you for the dono. 420 dono from Jad Renko over on Twitch TV. Appreciate it. That's definitely going right towards the Starlink bill. Freaking out. I think I picked up some kind of debris. Possibly. Look at this, Mark. Yeah. It's 
still alive, but yeah. he survived good another day, buddy boy. Looking good over there. Don't get eaten. Good. You want to move? Yeah, I can reel in. Yeah, a, yeah I'm okay in. with moving. All right, let's do that. No matter what, we're we're fishing different area though, you know, so it doesn't really matter to me at the end of the day, because I know how hot fishing could be. We could move a million times and not catch, and or we could drift and work all different areas during the drift and not catch, or either way and catch. You know, that's just that's just damn halibut fishing. I don't know. I wonder, what, wonder what baits down at the bottom. I've got my favorite. I know right away on just a couple quick drops in five minutes is like me next one. Yeah, next one. And then find those biters. Yeah. Just such a mass area of good potential yeah, halibut. Yeah. You know, like that's what's hard about my the uh, long meat shelf when I fish it. I've had really good luck there, but there's also other places, and even in the place I have good luck in, it's a it's such it's such a big area. I wonder how big the reds are sitting on on the 14 mile bank right over the way. Um, are they doing any good? You know, there, up on the pump? peak, they have they got picked off quite quickly, but down yeah. at like um, five six hundred feet, they're they're good. Oh, okay. Um, I have some, I have a good spot off of, uh, PV. There, yeah, I have some good local spots. If that's what we did today, I probably would have went to the PV spot. I'm hoping the weather on, um... I brought a rod for it. So. Yeah, I have something I can use for it, too. If you want to start saving these in a bucket, so we have bait to put on our little... I'd probably dig it. But yeah. I don't have jigs. I have brought some, but no, the live bait's good too. I brought, I have dropper loops and hooks as well. If you, didn't. I have that double squid thing. Oh yeah, that off. thing My would. Gosh, it rocks. Yep, that that. That uh, thing. That's shoes the uh, Promar Ahi one, Ahi USA yeah. one. And it's that color. I've tried yeah. all the colors, but it's been that one. Yeah. No, yeah, that thing will get eaten up. Yeah. I have a discount, 20% discount code with them. <laughs> nice. They're so cheap anyways, the Walmart hey, day. 20%? Two dollars and something cents. 20% 20, 20 more if you just order it from their website. Wow. Twenty percent's a pretty good code. I'm gonna throw my jet here just in case you decide. Or while I'm halibut fishing. What's that? Well, you're not allowed two rods when you're halibut fishing anymore, are right. you? Yeah, you are. Oh, okay. It's uh, bottom rock fishing you're not allowed to uh, have two rods. So the rock fishing is what's being super regulated lately. Yeah. So what were you thinking? You want to go hit that 100 area? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go a little deeper. Let's try I it. noticed the calmer it is, the deeper you go or right in the surf. It's either one extreme or another. When you have heavy currents, yeah, they typically back off out here into that mid-range. But when it's slack, I just, I think that if we go out there, we'll find a little bit more current, right? Yeah, possibly. We wouldn't be tucked into the corner like this. About the area I was thinking. I don't know though, haven't done it. We be prospecting today, water people. Nah, we'll turn it into catching here soon. We'll turn it into catching. Uh, Bruce over on uh, YouTube says Is the 14 mile bank located between? The two oil rigs, uh, 
Uh, fr from Long Beach? No, the 14's outside the oil rigs. Outside every oil rig. Almost halfway between the oil rigs and, and uh, Catalina. In West Catalina, yeah. West End. Yeah. You're pointed right at it, actually. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't been there. I went there once or twice last year and just stopped on my way in. Yeah. Because the tuna were biking for a minute there. Drop down. I have a swordfish spot in between the oil rigs in 14 Mile Bank. That's where I'll be Wednesday if I go do a day trip. The guy that used to like, get the free rig rigs off of for 50 bucks, I mean, lights, two lights, slider weight, clips, hooks, with uh, the close with body put on the sprinting. Right next to my house, and I think he passed away. I walked went by there, the shop was empty, and I couldn't believe it. Wow. There's like 40 years of crap in there. I don't know how they emptied it so quick. Wow. Like overnight. I saw it Friday open, and I went Sunday to go in there, and it was all gone. And I'm like, how did you look up? Wow. That was stuff. 48 hour period. Right. I mean, it was a, you know, a they warehouse hired guy. Some, they hired someone. Hired a company, but where do they put it? That's the thing, too. And what are they doing with it? There was some neat old school stuff that he wouldn't sell. It's like, okay, why do you put it out on your showroom? You're not going to sell it. Either. Right. All right, guys, we're going to have about a 10 minute cruise. Definitely have a quick intermission if you need to. Have a nice uh, drink, smoke, bathroom break. We're gonna go to this 100 foot mark, which is a 100 foot range, which is about 10 minute cruise. So enjoy the ride. I think it's so, because I know I'm not at this rig yet. When I get bit, it's halfway from this rig to that rig and left. And boy, I have it marked on. I almost uh, drove to my boat to the store and turned my meter on. Right. Like zoomed in, got the number. Could have. Could have. Could have easily. What, 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 huh? What the fuck? Did something fall, fall off? No, I don't know. No. Oh, I think fine. it. I think it was this on my jacket. I thought something might have fallen off, and then I yeah. saw this. Okay. And I was like. I just saw a little flash, and I was yeah, like. Yeah. Me too. I am, yeah, I'm fishing with Ed today. Ed of Half Fish Bait Co. He uh, does the micro spreader bars with the hoochies and the clear bars. Micro compared to the titanium size. Actually, three miles to Is get it? to the hundred foot area. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's why it's ten minutes at cruise. Yeah, I get it rigged up. Let me know. I'll slow down. I just brought a bright blue one. I hope the blue's dried on it. Yeah. Has a clip on it. Yeah. Did that in case we This is what he makes right here. This is Half Fish Bait Co's spreader bar. 
It's a clear bar, three chains, two of them are teasers, the outer chains are teasers, the center main line is the main line. It's a through line as well. Nice stinger off the back, clipped on. He does all the same size baits, but I'm sure everyone has their way of wanting to run them. And the way he recommends them is about 32 inches to 36 inches of the stinger behind his main line. So he just wants to get a, some film of his bars off from his phone really quick while we're out here today. So we'll let him do that real quick. You can see how light of a rig I'm His little uh, popsicle stick bird does a nice little action, top water splash action. Yeah. Gives you, it a you, good little boil. Go ahead and speed up. It, it takes a punch. Yeah, that looks good. Dorado, eat that up. Yellowtail oh, would eat that up. The, the uh won a lot of tournaments. Bonita. There's a couple Bonita rolling around here, but oh yeah. I actually tried to trap it so it would be brighter to see it. I grab the bright orange one. Yeah, I think I All right, now that one's getting donated to the boat. Okay. Sorry, Ed. All right. <laughs> it's not joking. Just I'll, joke. I'll, I'll, only you if you can want get to. Off, but you can leave your bait. In I'll, only if you want to. <laughs> no, I'm but I'll bring, put it to use if you do. <laughs> no, I'll bring. I'll bring you some special colors for our. Yeah, I got. Uh, oh, I, I believe that freaking macro color would probably get bit. No, huh? they all get bit. Oh, all the sure. Get bit. Well, I'm they a big believer do. in color doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Like, yeah. it helps, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you feel like you switch the color and all of a sudden you're bit, you know, and it, it could have been that, but we it's more so natural, shade. We have these natural colors that uh, the yellow tail zoom in on a yeah. little bit more than the... So I got the pearl and the yellow pink. You get me a pearl and a yellow pink at... ECS. The yellow, uh, it's like, it looks match, it's kind of like a, almost like a local. It's yellow on the bottom, pink on the top. You mean green on top, like a mix, an old mix. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure it's pink. Yellow, or, or orange, orange pink. Oh, 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 the candy corn. Looks yeah. like Halloween candy corn. Possibly. It has the green candy corn color. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm letting it out a little bit further right now. Are you going to get your uh, shot with your phone? I'm, yeah, I'm actually pulling the line out of this reel line. That is really uh, Oh, okay. Loop. Little loop. Typically, I'll send these out about 20 feet more than what it's at now. I should probably be on the starboard side, out pointed off that corner. Probably get into that blue water. What's your speed? Uh, seven knots, seven okay. and a half knots on the downswell. Track is really nice. That's seven. Ooh, the drag set. I love the Well, the drag set is a wee 
Watch us get a nice bonita as we sit here and do a v video. <laughs> that would be nice. But you can see, you can use little outfits for this. Oh yeah. You know, oh, yeah. look, I'm holding it. It's not like. No, I figured so. Big. It's like the equivalent drag of a, of a um, Rapala, I would imagine, or maybe even lighter. Less, right. Less, yeah. Less. The Rapala right now is seven and a half, but. We Good. Yeah. Do you have a camera that zooms into that that far? Just my phone, yeah. Oh, just your phone, yeah. but you don't have a GoPro that we can just hold up and No, not with me at least. Okay. At my girlfriend's I have like a DSLR that I keep that could have zoomed in on it a little bit. I could have tried like standing up but now, because I'm working something new on this little piece, uh -huh. I shortened something and I did a little pump it up. Just, just, just play with it a little bit. Bump, bump the speed. It's, let's... it's not something you would fish. I mean, yeah, in the prime times you would. Right now, we'd probably want to go as slow as possible, but I want to bump it up and I want to see if the change of distance for those who want to uh, shorten it up, because I got a lot of response at the last few shows that people want to shorten it up, you know, so it's more handleable, like, you know, not as tall, not as long, 72 inches. They want to shorten like the six, chains? Yeah, so. Really? You know, just a handability or, you know, mobility around to work with it. And I was like, why, why, why? But you gotta listen to the people if that's what they want. But it, it's looking, it's Whoa. looking tacky right there. And now what are we at? Eight, eight and a half? This is 10. 10, go ahead. Just, let's pick it up just enough. That's still biteable. Yeah, it From is. From my experience with the titanium bars, that's biteable. You're not flopping too yet, just yet. Uh, there's a flop every now and then, but. Going into the slow. Oh, you're doing good. Uh, it's 11 knots, 11 and a half. See, people can come home at that speed. And if I go in the flat water in the middle, it probably can track even better than the slop on the outside. So uh, you get a big identifier, I've learned too, from your tip. When you get a wet vest, you know your bar has come off. Yeah, plus that's a lighter rod. If you right. use a stiffer rod, it doesn't it doesn't play it back. Right. You know, we're going pretty fast, so that no, soft that's rod still, is yanking it. And that's still fishable. I'd say that would still get bit there, in my opinion. And we're at 11. Yep, I'm gonna go to 12. Yeah, the tip is too soft to go fast. Yep, nope, we got, we got too much of a chime walk going on. It's getting pulled out, but you know, the right species, I, you know, so are they trying to put it in their spread of outriggers and stuff? That's why they want them shorter? Because the guy, the captains that do all the spread on the outriggers, they'll turn on a dime and none of those baits will touch each other, exactly. which is crazy. Um, so I honestly don't, Bill, I feel like they would just have to use this as their center back one. Corners, and like I said, I could turn the head, it'll plane out for me a yeah. little bit. And the Rapala's and the lipless, uh, you know, skirt baits or the lipless. Um, have you tried doing uh, resin pours and uh, rather than the uh, rubber pour? too stiff i need that flex so it planes up okay so why i, I was going to say that is to, to that change part. your mold you're able to change your molds if you do a resin pour instead of the uh soft pour and then you just do that angle in your mold rather than in count on the flex to make that angle i've tried harder Be plastic because then you could start to add rudders on them that will also help plane. yeah I notice when you get into speeds or different types of water, they start going like like this. They want to tap. Okay. Because there's no give. Right. It doesn't true it up. Exactly. So I'm noticing the softer my pores on the splasher head, the softer the pore, 
the more true and higher speeds you can conduct. Okay, look at these marks right here. Ooh, I'm liking this stuff. This is this is where I get bit when I'm coming in. Oh, look at this. Equal yeah. distance. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Should we go yep, ne yep. neutral and see how we drift and then? Yeah. I'm gonna put them down while we, is, while we find out how we're drifting. Yeah. This is what and I'm then talking look at about. On, uh, when I'm coming in, I'm equal with that that rig because I want to go home. Right. into that harbor and it's like from here to there right in this section i i clobber fish on a deeper pala here every time and then i know when i get close to that rig i reel it in but it's like done with the day just don't even try the inside see how easy this is I love it. I love it. And the dollar store, well, no longer the dollar store, bye bye dollar store. Um, oh, the 99? Yeah, the 99 cent store. Yeah, they're closing up shop. Yeah, they, they have these little um, wristband. Um, In, uh, I like these things even for my other like heavy weights not to flip around yeah but these 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 you know those oh these any um any reports from uh customers uh for strike pass on your bars I, I, I couldn't hear you sorry see any sorry. reports back from uh customers that fish strike bass on your bars a, a few to my son but i haven't heard much no, yet. No, see, nothing back just, yet boom. oh that's cool and it just keeps it from Wine everywhere. So you've sold some to some people, but nothing heard, haven't heard back yet. Right. Uh, that ha Oh my goodness. So I sold we're, we're in the beginning the of selling system. bars. I sold so many to people, so many people, and heard back from no one. Yeah. No one. It's weird. And I'm the thinking response. like, but that's a good. But technically, that's a good thing. They might hearing keep back it secret. Is a better or is our hearing uh, not hearing back is better than hearing back in a bad way. Right. Because not hearing back knows, hey, at least there's nothing wrong with it. Yep, no news is good news. Yes. But, you know, well, a lot of people, these were first time they would get them, you know, so you would think you'd get some feedback like, oh man, this has been great, or, or the, um, you know, I tell them how to use it really well when they buy it. But I always expect someone like, hey, what was, how, could you refresh my memory on the good speeds and, the technique on how you run it, you know, like, because people don't like wasting their time. Oh, I had a, um, I don't know what you did. I had a pack of spokes in that bag. Oh, it's up here. Ah. Well, everything that was in that bag that doesn't go in the thing is Perfect. up here for you. Look at this. Slack. Like, straight up and down. I have to go to a bounce ball or something. We are like... Like <laughs> dead in the water. I mean, the paper is not moving. We are. Hot. There's some good marks down at the bottom, though. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to change my rig to a little slider with a quarter ounce weight behind you. I'm gonna dip in for a fishy. We could always, oh, we could always put a pop for bounce ball and cover ground at the. I definitely feel like, uh, like, uh, like I said at the beginning of the day, the last two hours of the day, if we don't get bit on these drift rigs, we're, I'm gonna cover ground for the last two hours with the bounce ball rigs. Uh huh. And I'll show you how I do that. No, I, I'm familiar. Nice. I'm good with that. Nice. I love a good bounce ball rig lately you should see this hoochie uh bill i've been using you honestly might like it behind your spreader bar because it's the same i'm using the same size hoochies check out how this thing swings. it is Ooh, look at all those marks you just pulled through all the bait down here a lot a lot more life Yeah, did we get pick up our drift yet? 
<laughs> There's no trip. Well, at least I just wanted to go into. Yeah. We, we moved a little bit. It's. Oh, well, since I kicked it in gear, my my stuff went straight. You were hanging straight. Yeah, we are kind of just spinning, so we have to create our own. Yep. You were straight up and down. And we went through a nice pocket of bait. Large, large school of bait. And, uh, yeah. I'm afraid my, my rig's just gonna circle around and around itself if I don't have any kind of movement. Yeah, that's why I like these drift rigs, because they allow, it allows them to circle around if there's no movement. Yeah, yeah. I need to put one on. I have a, I, I tied up probably like five or six last night. Welcome to use one. Wow, we were on oh, yeah. all we're kinds of We should stuff probably be at four nothing. ounces now too, not two ounces. I'm at two and having yeah. some serious contact, so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm just going off of depth wise. Yeah. No. As soon as we start bumping, it's gonna. Well, I was thinking about going to one ounce and getting finesse so they can pull it around. I was thinking of. Yeah, I didn't have time to break my phone out for the footage. Oh. <laughs> this is the time we do it on the way back, even. Yeah, we're good. I wonder how the weather's looking for Wednesday, man. We gotta add yours up there. All right, let's see. Weather for Wednesday. Okay, you want the want the back? I could always turn the camera for you. No, if you if you're comfortable going off the bow, that's fine by me. Just don't go under the drink. All right, let's check in. Gonna check weather for Wednesday really quick. Oh my goodness, Wednesday, Thursday, there's not even a color on windy. Thursday's even nicer than Wednesday. We need our macro. Would be my guess. I know all my friends are really catching up on the things you know. They're starting to roll in, but it's too cold. What are they doing here? I know they're here. It's know. almost 60 degrees. It's 58.7 right here. I might have to do a deep drop, or a daytime drop yeah. for your swordfish on Wednesday. Yeah. It's a little breezy after one, just a little, but manageable. I might be able to just turn it into a. Uh, a troll at that point. Oh my gosh, I'm going under the motor here. Good marks, good marks. I can move this uh, over since the drift's kind of going this way. The way it should be going? We should be blowing right. You could to take this corner. Huntington. I'll just go there. The current's blowing just a smidge faster than the boat. Here, fishy, 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 fishes. Oh, a little bit more bait we're going through. Oh, I do have my clear uh, rubber bands. Oh yeah, those are even bigger than my like, like, like um, braces. The old brace style. Oh, really? Yeah, for what these I wanted. Are, these I wanted open. to really show you a trick. These don't open, uh, you know, these are the hair yeah, style. They don't open up very up. much. Uh, imagine can... the eye of a treble hook to the barb. The distance is pretty short. I thought you were going to like put it around the tail or something. No, no, if I put it on, uh, do the eye of the hook and then slip it to the barb. Um. And, Pin it through its jaw, nose, nose pin, 
It just it keeps them on so good so I can get a whole good old set of three fish on there. So if one does fall off on a strike, he'll come back to the other. Something's coming up to the boat. Halfway down, no. Thought maybe I pulled your rig up off the bottom, but I did. Yeah, there's a section over here that. of getting a drift. High tide starts coming in. Look at our currents. But the wind's even blowing from the south. Everybody says, don't go fishing when the wind blows from the south in our area. <laughs> oh, should we have gone rock fishing? <laughs> enough of the old school guys to know any of the, the myths. Yeah. So check this uh, bill on this uh, oh, yeah, it's on almost the Lincoln hamburger rig. So it, it it forces it upwards. Yep. That bill. Yep. This thing is sweet Got like salmon flashers. Oh that's how the uh, dodger. Yep. Technically, the trout world uses them. The, in the salmon world, salmon. they use the flashers. Yeah. I well, salmon, they're using is. those too now with the planer boards. Yeah, because uh, I don't. Uh, the flashers, they spin. The yeah. dodgers, they just back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Now the dodgers are getting real popular again. They they go through their little wave about yeah. every ten years. Yeah, this is my rig here for the halibut bounce ball. Put a put the breakaway on the slider swivel or the slide the slider clip here. Mm -hmm. And that's what we'll cover ground with in our last two hours if we don't get our fish by then. With one of these. Um, and then two live bait ones. I'll mm -hmm. put this down the center, and then we'll put two live bait ones behind him. This is the go to, right? Yeah. Yeah, here in about an hour or two, I believe we'll catch that high tide current right here around this corner. Well, look at all the bait down there, though. Yeah, That's this is a good a spot. Very interesting. I bake catch them a lot in 70 feet. Jeff, how's it going, man? Good morning. Uh, Bruce, what's the bite? Uh, what's biting today? What are you guys fishing for? <laughs> Nothing's biting yet, but we're fishing for halibut. And we're at slack tide. Nothing's biting just yet. But the effort is extremely real. We will find them. Got it. Two fishy people on the boat. Let's yeah, we take two of those rigs that you've got on there and go right outside the wave, like the beach, right outside the wave. I think that would be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Man, bounce ball. And the cool thing about the bounce ball rigs, too, they catch white sea bass. I've been getting juveniles, so it's just a matter of time that a big one comes up and swoops that thing. Exactly. Like, I've been loving the bounce ball rigs, man. Loving them. And there's all different types of ways to set these. Yeah, you put, you, you, put, you put a chunk of squid on there. You put a oh, chunk yeah. of squid on there. That, that white sea bass is going to melt. So I use the hoochies with a grub tail down in the center mm -hmm. of it, and it just lengthens it, and it gives it a nice... 
this big old wobble. You know they have the weighted heads in those too. In the... But yeah, these Dodgers, man. I'm getting more sent to me. Probably sticky too. Boy, you want to see neat collections or selections of those that are old school or, or, or just things you can't find? Go to some of those basement stores in Oregon along the coast. Oh, you find some really neat ones of those. Different shapes, sizes, right, lengths, different bills. stuff in those basement stores and oh. up and down the coast. I went in one day and I went up there for a bass tournament and went down into a basement and found um, some spinner baits, but with the good titanium, the good blades, you know, good, good swivels, the good blades, you know, the good stuff, not the dollar stuff. Right. And the guy was blowing them out for a buck a piece and shooting material. He was six bucks into it. Right. Oh, I must have bought sixty of them, and I love taking them even out here. Saltwater doesn't do. <laughs> Do them just, I mean, it doesn't rot them out, eats them out really quick, but. Ay, so Where you... is my bite? I need a halibut for dinner. My bait's still alive. It does move. Hey, a little, uh, kelp patty. Yeah, I was looking at that. Another four months from now. You know, not last year, but the year before, there was Dorado on the shelf. Oh, yeah. There was Dorado on the shelf for two or three days. I've noticed a pattern in the last four years when it does. October, November. That la that first storm in November when they start rolling out, right? The first storm, I noticed before they leave, they go to the beaches and then have them. Okay. They all come in and then boogie. So when they when you get those three or four days of them just getting closer and closer and closer before that storm, and once that storm hits, that's why no one finds them out there. You gotta go right in here. Right. Uh, Coho, thank you for the biddies, man. Thanks for the song and the hype. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Goat Luke, how's it going, man? Welcome back. Coho in the house. For goodness sake. I need, I need, I need a bite. You know what? Down. Yeah, that is, the old old trout or needlefish. Needlefish. No, it's just a. It, it looks like this, but then it's your eyes. You don't see any tear mode needlefish. I love this color. Let's see that. That gives you. That's a neat color. Keep your finger only about 80 inches from that sucker. You get them. You get them. <laughs> So, I worked every show this year, uh, every day, and I had a guy come up to me at the Del Mar show, um, and he, he's an old school Pablo guy, you know, so he lives down in Pablo now, and just uh, does his own thing down there, doesn't even really mingle with the locals much as he, from what it sounds like, and he admitted he, he doesn't, he, he says he doesn't trust them. Yeah, he's so so, but yeah, um, he was telling me, you know the knife, like the 200 to 300 gram knife jigs that people can catch a tune off with like crazy? He, 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 had, he hasn't seen them for what they were used for and his family came down and was fishing his area with them and he found, you know, and he was looking through their stuff because he doesn't get to see stuff often because he lives down there full time. Exactly. And um, he was looking through the stuff and he found all the knife jigs and he started 
He's like, oh, I want to fish with these. And they're like, oh, we're not doing that type of fishing. He's like, sure we are. He goes and he crimps some, like, four or five of them together. Oh boom, my boom, God, boom, that's boom, expensive. Boom. No hooks except for the last one. And, there, and he goes into his Wahoo grounds and starts trolling them in the Wahoo grounds. And he was, he's like, he was, he was all hyped about it. That's why he's literally, I felt like he came to Del, the Del Mar show just to share that story of how these, we call them spoons too. It's spoons, spoons. And I was like, what spoons are you talking about? You know, and I had to walk him over to a booth. And, t and have him point them out to me. I was like, no way. He's like, way. And then, then he um, he was digging through his phone trying to find the pictures for like 30, 40 minutes. And he finally, I'm like, finally, like, go enjoy the show, man. You know, you've been here trying to find those pictures. Go enjoy the show. So he finally left and he came back like maybe an hour later and he had found the pictures. And he showed me the pictures of the Wahoo and them holding up the daisy chains of the of the knife jigs. Can you imagine a Wahoo jumping on that front one and sniffing that line? Well, he, well he, he, he's a Wahoo fisherman, so I'm sure he still rigged them up, you know, to not lose them. But he, he just knew, he knew the Wahoo were gonna just smash them for whatever reason, all, to, all daisied up like that. It's like a Bonita on steroids. I was like, what a cool story. Current swell catches up, now it's grabbing. I heard my rig go off. Was it yours or not? One time I turned my back. That's when it happens. I haven't seen any signs of life on this section like we did back there. Back there, when we were even with that oil rig, boy, there was a lot of bait. Yeah, this we're not even moving much. No, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be happy to slide, get the bounce balls out. Slide a kite off your bimini and get some kind of view. Why don't we get you a? You have the plate right there. Why don't we get you an electric motor in there? <sighs> Then you can spot lock them those days you really need it. Can't afford it right now. I put so much in. I'm not in the green. You know, I'm still working towards my my investment. I'm still not even. So it's hard to put more in when you're still working towards the initial. You know. COVID really knocked our dicks in the dirt with our build. We had just bought a building next to Anaheim Stadium. And uh, opening day, they shut everybody down. So the office didn't even have, well, my wife was going, but didn't even have workers, nothing. Held on to it to the end of COVID and had to sell it because we were, and it was so nice. It was such a good deal and it's such a great location. Yeah. So I know that reinvest, redo, re. Trust me, as soon as I can, or as soon as a brand offers to put one on there, I'm going to say, yes, please. And I'll I'll pay for the other portion of it. What do you I already mean? have a battery brand. I'm sure that would that would give me either, either give me them or give me a really good deal for them because I promote for them already. Um, but yeah, ideally with I'm running Simrad, so a motor guide would be ideal. Yes, yes. And the new ones are fresh and salt combos. Uh, they're really neat. Yeah. To have them to your dashboard is nice. I'm I'm really turned off because I'm old school with a foot pedal. Right. I would rather have a foot pedal, and no one really makes that combo on a foot pedal yet. Yeah. I'll have that thing. Go around your neck, choke you. You got to. Most people put it on your rod. To yeah, most people them. put it on their hip. They don't put yeah. it on there. Oh, I hang mine. Oh, that's a good on idea. Dash. And is so there I a website the for the mini spreader bars? He's got a website up, but I don't think the shop is live on the website yet, right? Or uh, is it? No, because it's changing up. But yeah. No, you can see a little bit of it. And it's a spreader. It's yeah, a fish half fish. 
Baitco.com, I'm pretty sure, right? I thought... Catfish.com. Baitco okay. is with all the other uh, Instagrams okay. and stuff. Okay, yeah, because I looked it up last night and I thought it was... Yeah, so uh, halffish.com. Eight different colors. <laughs> It's kind of weird. The northeast is black, all black, jet black. And then the middle of the east is uh, that old Mean Joe green with the green and black. And then you get into Florida and it's bubblegum colors. And then down here, it's it. That's funny. That's got to be frustrating. Manufacturer. It is. But the stores are buying in bulk and that makes it easier. Baja, it's all pink or green. For me, I, I, I've always been kind of anti-green for us. Got one tuna on it. Well, you know, I'll just go natural and why you put your own fever on the back of it. <laughs> You're getting guys, though, that will swear to black and nothing but black too. My son, he's black and purple. Uh, you know, the different shade purples and different shades black, but he's just black and purple diehard with it. It's sunny and wet. It's a wet issue. Wow. We haven't even got a little rug wrap bass. Sand bass, the calicos are everywhere right now spawning on these flats. You get a calico right now, it's just spewing sperm in it. They're all nicely bulked up. Yeah. Have you caught a calico lately? No. Boy, they're just spewing there. This is the time you get the record ones out here on some of those rock piles. Yeah, here. there's a time of year where uh, it's normally right in the beginning of pelagic season. You could literally go to Nacho, pick up a scoop, and go right to the wall right by him and just fry line the anchovies and get some really nice calicos. Really good size. I never gave that wall much time. A lot of people do. Yeah, that wall has been lots of potential. I trolled my bar from one end. Oh, was that because you bumped it? Yeah, I think so. Grab bottom, I don't know. Usually they give that first one a whack. And right, they're really good. It's a good whack and then it just, they go right back to the bottom. Agreed. But, uh, I trolled because I wanted to go up to the fort or the horseshoe, the shelf just past the horseshoe over there, that deep, deep drop by the point. Oh, right. I want to catch a swordfish off there. I know for a fact there's got to be swordfish working that canyon. There has to be because has there's a bait be. source. It's such a So fishy. It is so fishy. And the squid were really in tight this year. You notice all the squid boats out here at night? Yeah, this past year, yeah. yeah. They're on Isers a lot. See, I don't know names. I just Isers is the gut spot right here in front of Bolsa Chica. Oh. So down a little more right in between the rigs and uh, the outlet of Huntington Beach. Oh, uh, chat minimize, guys. Sorry. If you said something you wanted me to see, you might have to reset. bottom hasn't shown signs of life for a little while. Not since our stop up there. Yeah. yeah, my boat. Well, I'll have to roll out and show you that little electric motor, how you can just put it at one mile per hour when you get this situation. Yeah. Oh, I've been on boats that have them and I'm envious. I just don't want to drop the freaking $2,200 for just the motor. Yep. So I'm trying to take on a, a hire an editor to help 
comment card or they'll do it most of the night. They're trying to promote their new motor anyway. Maybe motor guy that I need. Or prefer at least not need. Motor guy's more with hummingbird though, like No, motor guy's the one for Simrad. Oh Simrad. And the, and the. Um, hummingbird has the Minnesota. Which I was talking to them at the show. I have a Garmin on my boat. And Garmin has Garmin now. Yep. They make their own now. Motor, I know. Maybe I'll sell you mine because it's new and then you can. Oh. Yeah, it's me. I just kicked it. Let's see if we can cover a little something more. I was thinking about selling mine and getting the Garmin. Oh, you been, been on a boat with Garmin lately and liking that? Oh yeah, I, I love the little blue map and, because I go fresh and salt. But it also takes me all the way to the end of Baja, so I can, I can map when I leave out a bit on the Mexican side. I want to add my cell phone in it because I get the Mexico service on my cell phone, so I don't want to catch something. Oh, there you go. There's a little nibble. Yep, that's a bite. <laughs> Is he still there? Oh, yeah. All right. Deshaun! Looks like something you're going to be able to bounce, huh? I don't know your rod. Oh, there you go. A little bit of weight. At least it's a halibut, huh? Uh-oh. There goes your car. Oh. <laughs> They're aluminum. So you want me to... Yeah, for you. Uh, if it's obviously a oversized, yeah, if not, the net is there too. Oh, there you go. I think this is a metal bit. Heck yeah, let's go! Plus, we don't know a piece of size. Nope, not at the back. Sandy. Yeah, Sandy. Tail hook. Ha 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 ha. Oh wow, completely snared. Yeah, snared. <laughs> yeah, it's a full wraparound it. snare. <laughs> there you go, a keeper. No hey, skunk. Maybe should, maybe At I least should. we have uh, found something. These guys are out here like crazy though. You know where to, or how to fish for them. Oh yeah, get your little two bigs out. Yep. Or drop shot. I think it's cut by me, because I just didn't hear my other opportunity. Love the fun, man. <laughs> Good little hook set in the mouth, and then the the uh, job, the treble snared his bat back. But nice little size two beak hook, nothing too big. Good size for the sardine. I've come to find anything bigger kind of turns back and will hook the bait itself. Octopus hook out. There we go. Well, yeah, that's a nice little sandy, huh? Nothing too crazy. Thanks for the biddies, Wolverine. And uh, Peg God, thank you for the follow. Let's uh, measure this bad boy and then toss him back, huh? We got. 15 inches. 
Fifteen and a quarter. Fifteen and a quarter. All right, thanks for the fight, buddy boy. Thanks for the fight. Have a nice day, buddy. Pew. Little turd roller. Wasn't the right kind, but it was a fish. I just haven't seen, well, maybe I'd like, as you say, I haven't seen life, but. Yeah, it's been a little slow here, besides that sand bass. We can move again if I you really want. I really think it's idle, though. I mean, think so? Bump slap, no wind. Could be, could be. I know the area is pretty good, so. Yeah, it's, there's. Sand bottom, that's for sure. Sand bass, sand bottom. <laughs> I definitely jumped when I heard that clicker go, though. You can jump like that. Are we going back out? Yeah, let's move. Whatever. I'm okay with whatever. I don't have a bait on, so I'm okay to move. What are you thinking? Back to the shallows or? Deeper or stick to that plan of going to that hundred mark still or sure. Alright, let's do it. I mean I like going to 220 when it's slack tight like this. Deep, deep, deep. Right? Deep, deep, huh? Whoa, whoa, blind hooks. Just a second. Oh. Backwards, yeah. upside down. So, uh, Sometimes I'll take my tag line and I'll run it back through the hook. And it... Yeah, I did that on this one, but I accidentally did it the wrong way and I didn't want to retie it. That's it. That's <laughs> yep. it. Yep. Yep. Um, but a snail. But okay. normally That's I snail it. Line. Normally I put a snail on, but lately, just this, they this they slide they slide and then sometimes if they don't slide they slide just a little bit and then you get a crank in your bait and so I've been liking just having a good amount of line lately even if there's a little bit of loop the the hook stays in both locations How's the bottom look? Is your bottom? uh no signs yeah the bait seems to be hitting, hitting a little bit tighter boy there's the bite right there that gives you every bite You know, the three or four hogs that are past that uh, farm, I don't know what you call it, a farm over there. I always a muscle them. farm. Coming back in, right to the door. But not before and not after. I haven't marked on my meter. And it's constantly eating crisp. I noticed the mark only lives about 50 yards. Nice day, it's gonna be a nice 
nice next couple days. All the really? way through Friday. Give me a nice week. It looked like after the clouds went away, we were gonna get some pretty good wind. You know, pushing this tail of the storm out. Yeah, I might do a twilight on Friday. Oh wait, no, I'm getting I'll be on the Eldorado. Yeah, you're getting on probably that afternoon, huh? Yeah, I'll be out on the way to San Nicolas Island fishing Saturday. I wonder what their target's going to be if the white sea bass moved in. Uh, it'll be rockfish still, I think. It's a Link Hot Jig sponsored trip, so I'm sure it'll probably try to get us on Link Hot. Yeah. Rock reds and links. I wonder what the water temp is up there, because that's right on that border of where it's cold up there on the edge of our water. <laughs> Very nice day on the water. the depth at that speed but it doesn't pick up you know the it doesn't break the bottom i have two meters one small one that i haven't set the game set so i can pick up at high speeds but yeah. my larger one like this I my set to... my large one is actually my super deep one it's a one kilowatt uh six uh, 40 60 hertz so for my sword fishing and then my high speed one what that i'm using now is my high chirp that would be, uh, that's, they're both through hole. I put all through hole on this thing. I got tired of it hanging off the back. Young, thank you for the follow. No lie, but how a little tricky that way. Yeah, I'm gonna go towards this little area here. Perfect. Anywhere you have a pocket. Right. Oh yeah, there you go. A little canyon pocket there. What did we miss in all that? Oh, good point, huh? Anything? No, oh, Flat. there's some bait there, though. As soon as we got back, uh, might, I even, think be, those might are, even be whitefish. The, those are those orange, rough, like, little... What are those called? Yeah. That, that's a decent... Could even be whitefish. Yeah, that, ooh, exactly. Ooh, let me throw yeah. on this, on that up pump. Yeah, yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah, 
good bottom dish here. I should put that rig on. Oh, look at that fat. Oh, that's a little bait. Just lost a really good bait right there. Damn it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why not? This is some very cured bait. Yes. Look at that big fat one. Yeah. It'll work. It'll work. It's halibut. Oh, geez, he really wanted to go home. And he's off to the races. That one got away from me, the one you dropped. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah he's a free, he free a, bird. He was a good looking bait, too. Yeah, he was big. Fast. Yeah, they're laughing at me. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. That's my notification for when someone follows. Oh, okay. You know what it is? It's a, it's a little animation I took from uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. It's one of the episodes that him and Patrick are playing on hooks and they think it's like a carnival ride. And oh. they jump on the hook and they get reeled up and then they jump off of it <laughs> before they get pulled up to the surface. You're going under the boat, aren't you? And, yeah. Look at all the look at all the uh, birds. It must be dolphin, probably. Ooh, yeah! Look at that. You never know. It's the ocean. There's got to be something in with them. There's a predator over there. Yep. Oh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So waiting for my boat to be finished, but close to I think nice. Yeah, even if it's just a thresher, there's a predator in there. Big, that little hump with all the bait. Yeah, we're coming across another one though here. We just need to keep bumping forward once oh, it okay. gets. Oh, okay. That shelf. Yeah. And there's a. I'm going towards the east side of it too. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Probably should have my bottom bottom rig on when I saw that. Fired it down.
all the birds are still going over there. That activity lasted quite a long time for this time of year. My bait is freaking out. Something just made my bait freak out. So gorgeous and gorgeous. Glass is fogging up. Cheapy. Yep, these two, these are team new specials. The book gun, the gun will, or the gun rod holder. Hey, fish Mike, how's it going, bro? Thanks for the biddies. Yeah, two ounces is a little light for 100 feet. Well, not when we're dead stop making it, but kicking it into gear. Yeah. Plus, when those fish start helicoptering. Talking to my bait, uh, telling him to get bit while I get some bounce ball rig set up for that two hour, last two hour mark. Oh, yeah. We're here, we're here. Come on, little fishy, eat a my lure. I might have a snack here soon. An apple or something. Thank you. 
gosh, it's so calm. We could bottom fish and stay dead on the mark. Right? No need of a secondary motor. You can stay straight up and down on them. And put a whack into the bottom fish. Okay, so three-eyed, one-legged fish, huh, really, after a yeah. storm? I, I kid you not, every time I rock fish by these rigs, I feel like I want to throw out the freaking blades. That's why I like PV, that's why I like 14 Mile, that's why, you know, there's certain places I'll eat bottom fish from and the other places I won't. <laughs> And it's all just because of what I'm seeing, too. You know, it's, I physically can see it. It's hard to say Do you think I could put one of those on with the, that silver one if we do this? Yeah. With that, with that swivel that's already tied on that. You know, one of those? It has to be on. Probably. Just keep it simple. <laughs> Set that up right You like that silver one? I just tied up a freaking leader on the floor with the stinger on it already. When that fish went off, I dropped everything and ran for the rod. Oh my, uh, my personal best is off of a hoochie grub tail. Oh yeah, single grub tail. Single or double? Uh, single. It's, it was a five inch grub tail with a four inch hoochie. White hoochie, green grub tail. I don't do it enough to really get into it that much. Yeah, with how much I fish, I go from quite a bit because it's what I want to eat. You know, it's, it's or it's either this or whitefish during certain times of the year. You know, and I'd rather go for this. Than I have some really good spots on the shelf for whitefish. Where the heck did that leader go? I'm just shocked we haven't bumped into more sand bass. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I'm using a heavy leader. Let's go. I mean, they're just giving credit. They've been there for too long. 
Usually it should have cleared out by now, right? interest. Probably a fresh over there if we had a map. Maybe there are maps so and we can make maps. Oh, I'd love to put a big map back on. Go for a kill shot. Olympic Rock, um, predict, productive spot this time of year. Oh, is that right, Big Chief? That's not far from here. It's not closest, but it's not the farthest. What kind of fishing? He just said good fishing this year at Olympic Rock, which is on the shelf. Well, I keep getting that jellyfish here. Bad booger. So we're going to take a look, see at what's going on. Oh, uh, the close one kind of moved off. Looks like I do see some dolphin. Is this a comfortable enough speed for you? Go to. <laughs> There's three good batches going on. Oh, big splashes. Gotta be dolphin.
Don't let go of the steering wheel. <laughs> there you go. Some deep footage though. Got the Very active here. There's a bunch of bunch of bass. Lots of bait off the bottom, about 20 feet off the bottom. That's a good sign. A lot of birds. Big old foaming boil of something small over here. Ah, can you imagine if it's a bunch of barracuda? And I have, well, I guess I have a rig with me. Well, it's a boil. I saw a lot of splashing in a 20-foot circle. They're waiting all down this line. Birds on both sides, but the active. Oh, there's some dolphin. Plenty of dolphin. They're having fun, so maybe max are going. Oh, we got some visitors. Got some dolphin rolling up on us. Oh, say good morning. There he is. I want to catch a fish your size. A lot of coomerants mixed in this too, which is kind of nice. The only place I like seeing them is out here, not the fresh water. So they eat up all our trout really quick. Dolphin aren't really hunting hard. Oh, they got themselves some full belly. See, that's what I'm talking about. See that little ring of oil just ahead of the bird? It's something mid, mid size in the five to ten pound range. Have you seen any signs of barracuda around here this year? I haven't been over here. more life on the bottom back there than over here in the, in the food. Is your camera pointing out to see this light? Yeah, it's right here. Three months from now, we would be uh, Really want to see this. Ooh, oh, a oh, bunch look of at all sea the... lions. Somebody dumped a bunch of bait here. So many sea lions. Yeah. Yep. Cool. You want to know who dumped a bunch of bait here? God. Thank 
They move off quick. Oh, there's some mackerel going by. Guess our scales brought them in. Oh, yeah, the dolphin are chasing the mat. Oh man, I bet the camera picked up on that. See the smaller fish jumping? Oh! Right. Beautiful day. Uh, just a throwback uh, sand bass so far. I've seen it just come out here in a long time. Or I haven't been able to go fishing on days like this. Just flat, calm down. Big rod out, wide line of mat, pressure. How did the bait mark? It's not. It's like it's moving towards home. It's moving shallow, it's shoving them up into the shallower.
shore and get back in Baja. Baja what? I'm when's, sorry? When's Jordan get back from Baja? Actually, it's my son Gabriel got back last night. Oh, Gabe went. Yeah. Gabriel went. Yeah, two sons. I'm, I've only met Jordan, I guess. these death checks. God, they died a long time ago. I had a cousin pass away. And his twin brother just received a check in the mail for $21,000. His uh, death in the family check that folks is going to explain. Takes a while for the last president to catch up to me president. Wow, that's a lucky game. What's going on over in chat? I hear notifications going off. I got yours set up here for, for a live bait behind this dodger. That's just a basic polymer, nothing that's crazy. No, I mean, I have a fun uh, dropper thing that keeps it tight. I got it very smooth. Well, there's no varmints in this area. Yeah, I feel like we should go cover some ground with the bounce ball rigs now. Yeah, just shoot it's, in. Yeah, we've got about two hours left to, as it is. Graham, how's it going? Woon. moving and grooving. What, what size weight should I uh, slide on that? Um, I need to get a slider out for, for a weight. Yeah, what, how do you have that uh, slider on now? You might be able to, you have a, a swivel behind your slider, right? Are you, the slider goes to the yeah, swivel? Yeah, I tied it to the swivel. Yeah. So you could just put that to the swivel that you have <laughs> and just use your slider. Yeah, I was gonna put it on. That's a pro yeah. sw swivel, so they're tiny, but they fly. Yeah, but how much weight are we? Uh... Um, I'll, the center one will probably uh, do. Well, ours will be the outer, so we'll pound probably the pound ball. So we can cover ground. Maybe even less. Maybe the eights. Might get away with the eight. Yeah, we'll put an eight on. There you go. just got pulled hard. One of us did. I think it might have been you. Over your reel is nice. 
That's comfy. There's an eight cannonball if you want. The kind that holds down better. Those banks work it's great too. But either one. I was gonna just put a tag leader on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll set this down right here for a second. Sometimes I'm looking for my pizza. Oh, just a pound break Nope, now that we're bounce balling, we're about to get our limits. I say we move back to the flats though. Move in and work our way there? Or, or I just say we, I think we should just get up and go back to the flats in between the beach and the oil rig where we started. That's where I've gotten from so many sources that don't know each other. Have said that's oh, that that's where we should be. Good morning. You're on speaker with the crowd. kitchen table or check next to my black book on the counter but I, I didn't use them and I did see them flowing around um, but, and mine are with me but because I moved your moved the car but you might yeah check the table check check all your purse on that table in the room do you think you left them in something that you're wearing? What were we wearing when we went out the last time? I don't know. Okay. Oh, you're on, you're on, you're on. <laughs> She's like, oh damn, it. he's on the face. She's not listening to me anymore. Uh, she can't find her work keys. Oh, that's so frustrating. Show the camera. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyways. You're gonna get grabbed in the back. Here. 
bag. I could feel the pin in my on my against my hand. All right, water people. It's a little shark. We're gonna move out of this zone. Hello, are you there? I think she hung up. Careful with these spikes here on this guy's back. He's got them on both. <laughs> cool little guy. No skunk on the bycatch. All right, chat. Minimize there for a moment. Sorry about that. We're going to, since his line's up, I'm going to bring my line up and we're going to move. back to the shallower zone for the last two hours and we're going to do some good old bounce balling because it works Back. Yeah, that's exactly what that wow. thing was. Almost put that pin almost went in my hand. <laughs> that would have yeah, that would have sucked. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you could easily just put, take off your leader off this swivel and use the the pit, the swivel or sliding you already have on there.
putting this bounce ball of yours in with this tape right here on the dab. It looks so neat right here. up here because you need fluids junior thank you. you uh there's a sweet one and a natural one thank you i don't know which one do you want sweet or natural either one's fine fluid fluid though, huh? Yeah. 
holding course uh, with Ed today. Sliders to be stopped though. Those so fucking. Those gotta be free. No, no, no. Like, it'll slide down and stop, but it's a big pull. Raw, okay. It, it acts like a swivel. It's just a little higher up. I got that little micro swivel you put on. It'll be okay. Yeah, it's just pro. Party boat way back there. If you have a trolling motor on your kayak, you technically have autopilot. Yeah. You steer with your feet. Oh yeah, this looks good. All right, I'm putting a bucket in the alpha space. Oh, you're putting a kite out there? I've probably gone through six buckets in the last year because I, I always forget that they're out. <laughs> and I go to end my day and forget all about it. Good way to break that. Center one will be closer. Oh, uh, you put it somewhere. You put it up top. It's saying it was perfect there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and you forgot already. Is it that perfect? Did you I, forget? Yeah, I looked up and I didn't see it. <laughs> oh my God! Look forward. Look forward.
So look at that uh, bill on that coochie down there, on this left side. You see? Oh yeah, I love that. The thing. wiggle on that thing. Yeah, that is beautiful. Autopilot on my direct. Uh, we're gonna. It'll straighten out in a moment. I just I meant to be that way. It turned out when I yeah. got set up. Maybe I need a little bit more weight. I'm dragging bottom bit though. We are going a little, so so I have to bump it. Sadly. Wish I had a trolling motor. Someday, someday. Barley, how's it going? Uh, we caught a, a shark and a sand bath so far. Fishing three. They're going over at first. Huh? I said you should get them first because you're going. Uh, yeah, this one, the heavier over. one down the center is going to be the closest. Yeah. And then the, but the live bait with fault should be not far behind it with you on yours, right? I should. I need a little bit more weight. I need to. Did you do the eight? Yeah, I did an eight. Sadly, I would go from eight to sixteen. Yeah. Well, when you kick Wait, it out those here like that, I hit, I hit good, and you kick it out. It might be that, it might be that distance of uh, breaker line you have, too. It's a really short breaker line. Hopefully it was a joint. Bro, you, did you just throw a SIG in the water? <laughs> Me? No, I got not the head. He uh, chopped off the filter, and put it in the trash can. It was just the the, top, the cherry the part. Yeah. that went into the agua. Now we're now we're making a show here. Oh look, it is this your mark right here? Just kidding. It's just a Huntington flats. <laughs> But it's yeah, right in the middle of the two. <laughs> yeah, this is now putting on a show down there. We'll actually track stuff. Not only if we pass one, we'll get bit, but we'll also track the feeders that are out there roaming. And if I see any like really lively spots, I normally try to, you know, turn around back on it and stuff. I was fly line in a very large macro last year. And, uh, big element came up. We picked him up. That was getting a thresher bite. And we're being a hell of it. Crazy thing, too, is he picked up that fish and came all the way to the boat with it. I was reeling it in all the slack. Here, 
fish. Oh, good marks on the bottom. Good marks on the bottom. Oh, that's not the real one either. Good marks on the bottom. Here, fishy, fishy here, fishy, fishy here. Get some of that. Thanks for picking up the tea for me. Sugar. Salt. Swordfish maybe on Wednesday. Or I might do some deep What's drop your, sable fishing. What's your favorite choice? So far, the giant squid. They yeah. get bit. I am gonna try a lot of artificialing this year. Uh, either the the big game, the swordfish big game eel, or the uh, uh, maiden Madam Lures uh, ten inch grub tail with the hoochie over it. We fishing. We fishing. We All we taking, need is a bite. We're taking some windows out in Utah. Okay. And uh, they had counterweights on them for the sides to lift. Oh, up right. The really old windows. I have a whole bucket of those. Oh, my God. Sen like, cinch weights, was, I think they're called. Yeah, cinch. it was something like that. I collected those. and They're great for rock fishing deep nowadays. Can't wait to use them for the... Uh, got to... Uh, got to get a couple... Swim floaty... Strike indicator mm. for the swordfish. Yeah, I have a buoy I rigged up myself, and then I do I do one buoy line like 900 yards away from the boat. I'll attach to the boat, though. Attach to the reel. That's why you need the. Uh, that's why 30 is a minimum because you're not going to use the buoy line on a 30. You're going to use a rod tip line on the 30. You can't use a buoy on a 30. You'd run out of line. Uh, 50 is minimum when it comes to buoy lines. 30s minimum when it comes to rod tip lines. You, maybe a 20 if you had 80 on there. The right 80 on there. Now we're covering ground. Just do a big ass wide circle around this whole flats area. I have a feeling we might go over your little area on this course, maybe, huh? Yeah, I see a lot of people all over this year. Like, when I'm coming in. But I thought there was another rig closer over here, between there and where we picked up our bay. There's the one in front of Seal Beach, down there. Okay. That's it. And then there's the double, the single, and a single. That's good. That's what we want. That's what we want. I'm gonna be stoked to see your uh, yours get hit if it does with that short of a of a weight line. I'm curious. Yeah, I kind of wanted that blade to just be skipping mud. Now yeah, oh, it will be. Mud, I, I have a feeling it will be uh, the way you have it set, which isn't a bad thing at all. Um, you know, they... They picked up on that yeah. vibration. They had some pretty good eyesight. I'm convinced they do. So I was using a tote that I drilled a bunch of holes in and it got me to the perfect speed without having to bump it in and out, but of course I forgot it in and I, at the end of the day, and I went and, and it broke off and outboard hit it. Is that a true kite or one of those? I have one in the boat. They're just, uh, I just always feel like I'm gonna have, be a pain when I hook onto a fish. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But what I ended up getting was a keg bucket. I'm gonna drill some holes in the bottom of the keg bucket and try that thing at the big old. Yeah, yeah. The but the way you have, because they're soft, right? The net, the kite. 
putting it right in the middle like you have your bucket down the middle? Yeah. That's keep it out the way. Pro probably, but the guy I have is huge. It's, oh. a, it's a sea anchor, technically. technically but... Yeah, it's a sea anchor. Say, hey! Eat my bait, 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 eat my bait. Come on, howl a bit and eat a mob bait. Say, hey! I just think it's a tidal thing. I think we're right in that bump. Nope. No movement down there. No current. The breeze is blowing fast enough for my two ounce. You would cover for a lot more water than you think with this breeze now. If we yeah. blew in. But see, I don't know good drifts right here. Like, right. I, I don't have the confidence. Like at home, I know. They're not on this slot. I just bump over and bump over, and then once you find one, you're you're good. Yeah, I'm gonna start fishing with that mindset on these flats. Um, it's just when I'm on the shelf, it's all flat. Okay. It's just all you know. So there's no like getting on this side or that side of anything. It's all flat. So here, there seems to be little ridges, like 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 uh, dooms, sand dooms, if you will. Yeah. Which, like I said, everything facing that way seems to be the, the hit every time we went over. And it didn't matter where we watched, the Dana, Oceanside, or San Diego. Dana, I have to go out. There's two spots close to Dana that are kind of reliable, but most of them are down by trestles. I have by friends that say 100, 120 feet. Outside of Dana is good for halibut. 220, huh? That's been for halibut. Huh? Or 30. 30 feet or 220 to 280. Really? For halibut? Yeah. I've not caught a halibut that deep. My deepest halibut is like 110. We have three or four boats that go out, and that, that's where you, you really lock in. They drag for halibut with the net thing mm. at the bottom. Okay. They're commercial halibut yeah. fishermen. Once you see them in a line, going down a specific depth. See, that's, this is the line you pick, as long as they haven't gone over it yet. Get struck. Come up pretty far off the bottom to eat. Oh yeah, especially in the shallows. I see them eat off the top of the water in the shallows. So that wasn't very much line that I had to let let out before I had contact. So. No. You're clear the bottom even if you're not contacting the bottom. Yeah. Especially when they stop like this. Yeah, down counts it hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tease them and get them all clustered and I'll pick them up for you. Oh yeah. Mind bumping it for a moment? No problem. Sweet spot I found is what since it's in knots, 1.5 to 1.8, give or take, you know, 0 0.2. We're going 2.2, two, 2.3. Two, two, yeah, two, it's one. a little high, so I would let it slow down. Especially 
especially with the weights we have. If we had like two pounders on there, we, that, we might get away with that speed. But we're a little lighter right now. <laughs> I wonder if we could have some little fun bass fishing off the freaking rigs. Still a little cold. There's a spot in Huntingar on the shelf that was really reliable for me. Like, oh, get a fish there every time I'd go there for a while. Months, months spans, you know? And this last month, I've gone there maybe five or six times. Nothing. Really? What depth was that? 70 to 80. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I'm liking those depths for halibut too. Don't get me wrong, shallow's nice. But shallow, you end up picking off a lot of smalls. Yeah. In the depths, you do end up getting a lot more legal size. Mm-hmm. I rarely get shorts in the depths. Don't get me wrong, I do. But normally, if I get one in the depths, you can count it's likely going to be a keeper. Sounds about like my electric trolling motor. <laughs> it's the same back. It is an electric motor, you know, behind the wheel that just keeps it on. Oh yeah, my eight ounce on with the with the long breakaway, with like a three to four foot breakaway, is hitting bottom just fine. So yours is probably good too. If it's not, you're just over the surface, which is okay as well with what you have set up. So I was thinking slowly, like every so often, to, uh, 10 degrees to the right now. You know, maybe even 10 uh -huh. or 20 degrees and then we start working our way through that zone that we started in, you know. But all this area is technically potential. You can't go wrong pretty much anywhere here. that wind working though right it's nice how you can see that with certain rods that's why if my if i can't see these working i feel like the rod's too heavy like it don't get me wrong it would be just fine catching the fish but i want to see that little flare i do like having a little bit of a finesseful rod for halibut because they have such small mouths some are not small soft mouths if you get them hooked just in the right spot they could easily, you could easily pull the hook if it's not, if they're, if either your drag's too heavy or your rod's too stiff, one of, one of the two. Yeah. That's looking good. Those are the marks you like to see here, kind of, huh? Yes, 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 there's definitely some bass down there. Oh, I gotta dig out another leader length in it. I don't know. I'll check it and see if I'm squared because I'm worried about that weight winding the line. Mm, yeah. And I've never seen such a short on on a leader or breakaway on that. I, I love it short, but right. my fish, when they hit the water, they were doing loops. 
I hope they didn't catch the blade. Right. That's kind of. That, that's why you got to keep in gear. I've learned too yeah. when you're just descending them. When you're deploying. I'm a lefty when it comes to these rods. I mean, I'm, I can do both. I'm more comfortable. Airborne, how's it going, bro? We are gonna be on the Eldorado this weekend, you guys. Should be a good time. We'll be at San Nicolas Island again on the Lincod Jigs sponsored trip. And then, ooh, those, oh, that's nice. Um, Wednesday, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm thinking of doing some deep, either some deep bottom drops or, or a daytime drift for swordfish. Not sure yet. Ooh, how did I call that? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's not gonna catch Jeff Fish. <laughs> what a mess. Oh boy. This is gonna be good. I just had that feeling. Something I had a feeling. When it's that my shit's gonna, shit's gonna be all tangled. My shit's gonna be all tangled. Oh, this, is a, this is a pretty one too. It's been out there winding for the last 25 minutes. Damn. Ooh. No bueno. You have quite the thick no bueno, no catch pescado that way. No bueno. There's a nice cat. Yeah, that's a nice cat. Yeah, there you go. Next level up there, yep, baby. Yep, that sure is. You know it. It's got bottom paint and everything. Bottom paint, dually. It's probably a 24 to 28, maybe. Someday. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. All right. Got my head out of my bum now. Ooh, I like that height. That's just staying right up off that bottom like that. Okay. Can I go back in the game? Start get back in the game? Of course. All right.
Yeah, maybe just do the one yeah. nose hook and butt hook one. Exactly. So he can't swim like that. Yeah. And then, and then you really won't miss a bite. Luck yet airborne on what we're going for. We've had a couple bycatch um, sand bass and a, what was that? A spiny shark or what are those called? Oh no, you got me all spike sharks or shit like that. Pin back. Pin back. There you go. See, I knew it was a pin or a spike or something. And this is quite early in the year to see a pin back. Usually you see the little grays, blues. Ooh, that was a good mark. Something just swam off the bottom and then went right back to it. You know how often I'd be taking a line if I was able to? Oh. But you know what, the, on boats like that though, they expect you to be doing something Good at all times. If you, you know, Yep, if there's nothing to do, you're wiping something. There's always something to wipe. Oh, it's salt water. Yep, yep. Or you think you'd be picked up their trash can? Like the one on the back? Hello, is this really a live feed? Marka ka pops. Marka Marka ka pops. Yes, we're live, brother. How's it going? Where are you watching from? We're off of the coast of California right now. Orange County, California to be exact. Huntington Beach, California to be even exacter. <laughs> and we're fishing for California halibut. Oh, and it's a fishing. We're not catching just yet. We're fishing. We've caught in one sand bass, one um pinback shark and we are on the uh bounce ball now trying to cover a little bit more ground than the uh drifting we were doing so far um rigs are feeling good we got i'm fishing with uh my two rods have artificials on them he's running two sardine on his one bounce ball rig Mark, also known as Pops, Arkansas, to answer your question. Welcome, Arkansas. Welcome, Mark. Appreciate you being here. Good luck today. Thank you the, for the halibut. Appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. I'm out here fishing for y'all. If it wasn't for y'all, I probably wouldn't be out here on a Monday like I am today. I'm trying to make this a living, so I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. Monday, Wednesday, Friday streams. 
And uh, yeah, viewers like you all is why I'm able to do this. It is greatly appreciated. We're having some really good marks down at the bottom. It takes about mm, maybe 40 yards before we start to actually fish over said marks though, because that's about how far back they are from the boat. Well, welcome Germany. Appreciate it, Nak. Nakis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Vancouver, welcome, John. You know, Slow. the bite was so good until this cold spell came in. Yeah. It was yeah. so good. Yeah. I was catching one hell of a week at the minimum. I was only able to fish once a week during that time, but <laughs> we I was barely able to get out on um, during the shows. Yeah. Barely able to get out during the show. I was thankful my buddy took me out that sun or that Monday morning after the Sunday show, and it was just phenomenal. They were chilling. There was a a nice hill, and then right on the back side of the hill, a lot of a lot of bait mark looking marks. There's a lot of life in this area. Well, temp is getting higher too. We're at uh, 59.9. We just the effort will be real we'll get we'll get it watch uh what are we after today we're after halibut cue ball over on youtube i have to mow but we'll stay tuned in good luck thanks Cass. appreciate you being here bro i never knew the pacific could be so calm yes can be <laughs> How amazing to see different people watching fishing around the world. Heck yes, definitely is. Appreciate y'all being here.
One shark, two bass. Two bass. Oh. You got that sabiki out? I do, I do. Yeah, they'll probably get lit here. This is the long, longest school of bait I've seen so far. Like it's consistently long, not just a pocket. You know what I mean? Are they down though? Uh, th yeah, 20, 30 feet. A three ounce might help you right now, than, rather than that one ounce, especially while moving around. By the time it gets to anywhere, it's, it's scoped out with that one ounce. I'd say Ooh, honestly, nice rough bottom. Look at your rod. This one here. Yeah. Get bit. Well, I'm surprised that school of Max didn't run up and eat, eat, eat that. Yeah, they like little pieces of squid on there. Yeah, yeah I freaking kill them naked, but I have little uh, artificial pieces of squid right. that work well yeah. too. They're called uh, fish bites. You might have seen them at a show since you've done so many shows. Ooh, good bottom, good bottom. Here, fishy, 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 fishies, fishy, fishy, fish, fishy, fishies. I need you. Oh, eat my eat. Oh, let it drop. Yeah, I'm like, I'm surprised you're not on. Oh, wow. There's a fat school still down there. I saw them on the surface right here. What's our chat? towards the bottom column too. Man, how have we not gotten a predator fish? It's gonna come. It's definitely gonna come. One of these are gonna go zippity doo dah here in a moment. probably be ideal on there or even a uh, little like a jig um like a
there already could be going on. It'll help. Since we're moving. Insta bite now. And the macro like a moving too, you know. I oh, that's how I catch them off the breaker walls, casting and cranking for them most of the time. Oh, yeah. Ballast, ballast, tis, ticks, ballast, ticks. Thanks for the uh, follow. I appreciate it. Keep all cool, man. Thanks. Hope all get them pretty bitchin' love it. Heck yeah, man. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you being here. We're working this zone pretty well. We're coming into uh, shallower and shallower as we go. Um, I've been told by a lot of people when you find that depth line try, uh, that they're biting on, try to keep working that depth line. Or if it's on a side of a ridge, work that side of the ridge again. Oh, let it drop and you'll get bit. They near the bottom. Uh, they're from 20 to 40. They mm -hmm. it almost lit up the whole uh, more than 60% of the screen there for a moment. All the way down at the bottom now. I do have a smelt sabiki on there too. So, did you still have enough hook after putting the pieces on I, there? Uh, I only put two out of the five on there. Right, just to, for some scent. Yeah, yeah, they're a little bulky. Right, for the. I normally go bigger. I have bigger if you want to swap it. It's just nah, that's what I had we'll set up. We'll get a nice little wrap. Right. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. We want to take you home with us. Right between. I almost wish I had my bait receiver in the water. I'd try to keep these alive. This is some good bait. As soon as I take it into the harbor, or no, the Alamitas though, they seem to die. Really? Yeah, could, the water's good in there, but it's just warm. Oh. Uh, I thought maybe all those rivers flowing into that water. It's, it's very insulated, or uh, they, they have pumps and stuff that blow the water through it really well to help keep the water from going bad. That's why there's a lot of uh, guppies and spawn in there. That's the stripers that they roll up there. Yeah. Right. Especially on the flats. What's going on? We're at 60 degree water now. We really need to slow it down now that we have a drift in the wind. We... But we just want to talk to the bait. Now that wind is starting to pick us up a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. That's why we're going to start catching up. Tide's going to change. Wind's going to blow to our favor. Get the 
bait runners out with the two ounce, smack it back down. If you have confidence in a spot. I don't have confidence yet because we haven't zoomed in yet. Arthur, thank you for the follow. to give me some too. I just... So They're stiff though. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's what I was about to say. I like jigging my sabiki, my sabikis. You know, I like give, getting them action and stuff and some really thick marks here from 15 all the way down to the bottom. I'm honestly shocked you are not lit up with all five of those hooks right now. What the heck is this, all these marks, if you're not getting bit? So those last three followers, where are you guys watching from? We're right here off of the coast of California, fishing off of Huntington Beach. We're looking for California halibut. And we have been fishing for quite a few hours already. We are technically in our last hour, but we could, we might be able to go a little longer because the wind's not gonna pick up all too awful today. Um, you know, we could even do a couple more drifts on the, uh, if the wind does get too heavy, let the wind push us around. Um, Newcastle, UK, welcome, Jolly Man. Appreciate you responding. Hey, the name of our boat, Jolly Man. Is it? Yeah. Cool. We have sweatshirts and t-shirts with Jolly Man on Come on, halibut. Eat my. Eat my. Eat my. Uh, damn, I missed my bow. It almost. It's almost time to do the first Mako drift of the year. I got all the spots and the chum and the hook. Up. Why is this heart here? Watch you're messing up my chat. And the uh, hook bait connection. Nice. Yeah, I do not kill shark. Is that connected to the bottom? That's what I was asking earlier. Um, we will fish for shark catch and release sometimes on the channel but we do not kill shark here you, you let him go to cue ball nice yeah I catch and release uh, thresher a lot on stream normally Mondays during the right time of year is called monster Monday and I will try to go for either shark or swordfish or big bluefin not quite that time of year yet. 
water is starting to get close to 60. I think we'll have another two weeks at least, maybe another month. Before we start seeing Thresher and whatnot. Yeah, there is that really big pocket of bait there for a while and it kind of quieted out. I cannot believe we have not had a halibut strike yet. I know. I get so many friends that see how much effort I put into halibut for like the last four months. Have you done any been hunting some flats? Have you been hunting some flats? Yeah. How's hunting some flats? I, I used to go there all the time and kill it on an halibut. Wish I still had a boat, I'd be out there. I would have, I'm gonna have to try it, I haven't been out there. So, I'm not gonna give up on hunting to flats. Huh? Hmm. I am not gonna give up on Huntington Flats. Who that be? <laughs> Hello? Obvious dialer. When you answer the phone and you hear a poop, you know that's a program that called you. And you could just hang up right away because we want people that call us intentionally, right? We don't want people that a computer calls us for them and then with the, after the, the computer hears us say hello, it connects us to a human. No, thank you. If you ain't, if I don't know you, I don't wanna talk to you. Send me an email. If I owe you money, send me an email. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sniping Barber, I did not see your message. Sorry, I have to ask you to re-say it because as soon as I looked over, my chat app minimized, and I had it reset. If you put them in the right way, they shouldn't come off because there's a cloth layer in there and you'll put the hook through the cloth layer and they'll never come off. So if you go for, through both colors, you should get through the cloth. Yeah. And the hook's down, so something happened. Not even one short yet. Funny. It'll be nice and uh, naturally seasoned. Brined what? Brined melon. Oh, sure, you're just ignoring me. No, I promise. He's been ignoring me all day. No way, way. I don't ignore. I don't ignore. I might miss messages. There is a moment where there's a conversation going on between couple of you guys and every time I looked I was like oh there's no way I'm gonna keep up with that so you know sometimes you guys are in deep in conversation and it's hard for me to catch up
I'm giving you a hard time. If it's important, I just I am you on Discord. Yeah. Missing one. Probably fell off, huh? I can miss it. Yeah, honestly, very surprised we haven't even seen a uh, shorty. But we fishing. That's how it goes. Sometime a woe. Oh yeah, we're gonna ride these swells now. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Zero five zero five four two five six six three. Thank you for the follow. Why can't you all have names like that? Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> right. There you go. You got some choice ones. That's a fatty right there. Find them. If we find them, we'll do some drifts over that spot. Let's find them. Let's, since we cover more ground faster this way, let's at least find one, and then we'll drift that spot. Well, 
system. Chat keeps going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, I subbed LL. <laughs> I'll hear all about. Love this. Nice. Keep, thank you, Cuba. I appreciate it. Have you been to the islands on your Oh, yeah. My very first trip um, that wasn't in shore, uh, just doing a little test run on my boat, my very actual first trip was to San Clemente Island. I said, bye, Catalina. I went right by it. I said, I'm like, I got a boat worthy to go out there. I'm going out there. And we did it. And we we didn't even watch the uh, uh, window to try to get back before the wind. We stuck it out and we got sprayed all the way back at like 12, 15 knots because the swell and wind was just so high we couldn't go full cruise. And we just chilled and hung out it was a good time that was uh when i uh, spearfished a lot before streaming it's hard to spearfish for streaming i do it though that's funny uh towards the end of the last not last season but the season before towards the end of it with the dorado bite uh some of the schools were getting really finicky they weren't biting as as much you know and and i um didn't want to go look for a biting school so if i found a school that wasn't biting i just freaking throw my goggles and fins on and go shoot a couple and be done with it be like, all right i'm over it let's go we're done because <laughs> oh man they're the easiest things to shoot oh with the big old flat side right? yeah I am watching the impressive haul come in from some spear gunners for it. We were on uh, some big blue fin. They are just jumping up ahead of them, rolling off the side of the boat, going down there, putting them whack into them. And boy, their set was beautiful. Yeah. We're coming uphill on a shelf. That rod yeah, is getting at this. more active on the look bounce. Look at this. I'm getting more active on the bounce. Yeah, there's more of them uphill. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I'm ready to hear that. And that's all happens when it's halibut. That's a, it's it's short and sweet. And then you got to jump on it, set that hook, and get that fish to the boat. No playing around. Ooh, and there's all the bait hanging out around the shelf. Ooh, I say we finesse it. Ooh, there We're it blowing is. in the wind good Ooh, now. There it is. Want well, to bring these in and put the Finesse drifters out? Stuff out? Put the drifters back out? We could because we're, we're blowing good. I just figured let's get one. Let's find the one covering this ground. Because even the wind is it's blowing, but it's still only a, about a knot. Perfect. Let's swim over. Look at that us about. It's good now. It's a good trip now. Yeah. Why well, not? We can. I'm sure. okay with it. All right. Let's get finessier with the bait runner. Yeah, I like the speed that it's drifting. does just take a little bit of time. One day covers me a season practically. One day. Alright, this didn't fail. That's what I like to see. I was fishing the whole time. Yeah, you were doing it. I'm nice. wondering if I delayed one of those fish for you and then wax, wax turned it on that. I have wax line. But that's... 
I always try to keep wax lying on you, never know when you're going to need it. Nice, nice bottom here, huh? The way it's bipping. Bouncing this back to the boat. <laughs> four or five cranks and then I stop and let it, hit, let it hit the bottom. Bounce. Perfect. Four or five cranks. Let it bounce. Bounce. Crank. Come on. <laughs> Where's that my rotor band? Put more fish on it. Bounce. Well, I'm bouncing good now. I'm liking this speed. Because I have that lighter weight. This has an 8 on it. It has an 8, but a different, different shape. Oh, right, right. Well, I was fishing the whole time on this one, too. So I like to see. This has so much, these bills have so much lift in them mm -hmm. that it helps keep the rig away from it so. Correct. Um, but look at this got pulled in. Yeah. That's why I freaking have been tying them down now lately because it's been driving me crazy with them getting pulled in like that. Alright, time to drift. I'm liking my drift with this. What was that? I'm liking my drift with this. Yeah, with the light baits on there, yeah. That's great. I have to keep movement. Yeah. You don't really have to with the light baits. Your light baits be for you. I will join you. You know where I've caught it's quite a few juvenile white sea bass? Mm. Right outside of Huntington Harbor. Yeah? Literally right outside of them. They just stack up or something. It's weird. It we were trying to make max down by a trestle and a whole bunch of juveniles come rolling in and <laughs> they were difficult. Those uh, the Zavikis didn't hold them too well. But then every once in a while, a nice one, well, a little bit better one, still not a keeper, would come through and destroy your little piece of squid on it. That was fun. It, it looks neat, like you should be able to hook one of those on and fire it back out. Pretty good. This has been the hot rod so far for me. Yeah. I'm gonna put a four ounce. I thought about that going up to like a three four. yo-yoing it, letting it bounce. Yeah, I think I want to get Vanessa down in this section. There's got to be a hell of it up in this corner. The water's turned, stained up a little bit since we started. So you know the current starting right around there.
back to the drift. Oh, I could pull the bucket out of the water so I don't forget about it. Oh, that's why the nose is probably swimming around so fast. Yeah, that will act like a sea anchor sooner or later. You want to keep it out and let it, or? Yeah, it's your call if you want to fish that way. It's slowing us down a little bit with the wind. If I take it up, it'll probably speed up a little bit on this trip. Good. What is that big going by right there? Huh? I hope it's not my big. Which one? I don't know. Oh no, there was one swimming around the bucket. When I pulled the bucket out, he swam away. Oh, okay. A lot of spear fishing until all these whites moved in down here. Yeah. You'd be amazed at how many great whites are local. Oh now. yeah. Yeah. Well, Catalina used to be the great white capital of the world. But... Yeah, they don't bother us. Not typically. You're not the bait they're looking for. They don't bother us. I'm convinced they don't bother us. Like, don't get me wrong. It can happen. Oh, mistake yeah. of identity happens to even us. We mistake identity sometimes. So, oh, you know, I don't blame a shark for mistaken identity either. But for the most part, I can bet you, with all the experience I have surfing and spear fishing and fishing, they don't give a crap about us. Because no. I promise you, if they did, we would not be surfing we would not be swimming in the exactly. ocean we would not because they're here they are they are here they're they fair. are not going anywhere and if we were on their menu we would be the easiest damn meal they could ever come across every year i kind of clean my freezer out and the they old baits and stuff and uh they do not care about us i go out at night and put the lights on and fire a bunch of that out Every once in a while, boy, they, they, uh, <laughs> they swim by larger than my boat. It's pretty intimidating. They're looking up at you. Oh, yeah. Wow, my line just kept singing out. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm on my fish. Oh, yeah, you got a bunch. You put multiple fish. Oh, okay. Tell that to the surfer in Mar Bay who got chomped a few years ago. Okay, ask him how many times he went in the water, Don. Yeah. Ask him how many times he's been in the water and that didn't happen. <laughs> and, how, and then let's ask how many times humans in general have been in the water. Tens of thousands. In of that thousands. spot where he got chomped and it never happened. 
No, we are uh, drifting for halibut on uh, the Huntington Flats. Yeah, if they wanted to eat us, we would be uh, an easy, easy chomping meal for them. They'd say, thank you, could I have another? And they'd take another. Until we learn to stay the heck out of the water. Be your fault. They don't care about us. I'll debate that all day long. I'm gonna put on one more bait. Look at that tip, just get nutty. Something scaring it. Come on. Time. We're witching out. We have the right wind. We have the right current. And we're back down off of that slack tide crap. Or now it's time. Hearing your clicker, you're like what? Yeah, I'm looking at it. I have a long line now because of the amount of weight I have on. There's some strawberries here. Oh, that's a bite. That's a bite. That's a connect. Think so? That was a, the first pull was, uh, was fast though. Oh. It's grabbing real good here. Oh. I swear yours was a bite. Yeah, when I popped it out, it felt like it just flapped off a rock. Or... Oh, okay. Because it, it kind of released off of some chunky, and I'm chunking hard right here. It's definitely a tougher bottom here. Oh, luckily there is no shortage of seals, etc., to keep them fat. Now. Exactly, Don. Yeah, but when you get the stringer of fish. You just shoot. There we go. It gets, yes, it does get sketchy, but you still hold your ground and don't give them the fish. Are you on? Nah, that was something small. <laughs> That's a heavy, something. heavy hook set there. I was trying to get it out, but out of that crowd. Yeah. Oh, my face is still doing good. Do we just drift right to the shallows or just want to reset the drift? Yeah, let's just, I say let's just drift right to the shallows. Sure. Why not? Because we're literally passing this um, outlet, this inlet right here. And that gets some traffic. This is the inlet. Yeah. So we'll be... But not to our usual. What, the one that I launch off of, the end of Energy, was a Chica. That's going over, isn't it? And this is like this, little corner. this is um uh seaport right here all right by that bridge the light on the other side the by the bridge right here is seaport warner is down there oh yeah all right well put the her Good contact on the bottom. Yeah. Bottom's a little hard, but it's all right. We'll get up. That's so easy. Fishy, fishies, where are you? 
Welcome everyone on YouTube. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Everyone on Twitch TV. Thank you for tuning in. We're drifting for halibut. We've caught in a couple bycatch. One was a sand bass. The other was a pin shark. And we are continuing this drift until the wind says go home or until Ed says go home or wow. until I say go home or... Yeah. You know... It'll be really wet before I ever say go home. <laughs> so until the wind says go home, likely. We're not far from our port, though, so it'll be a nice, cozy, co comfy ride home no matter what. Come on, bite. I had a bite. It was a fish. You weren't lying. I thought so. Yeah. If I get a quick instant jerk like that in the beginning of a little... Yeah. I always know, even if I think it's the bottom, I'd rather Swing set the hook into, a, into the bottom and, and to make sure it's not a fish, you know? Look at these bad boogers we're picking up from that stuff. Yeah. They're like soft. The boogers. <laughs> yeah, they just stick to your fingers and they won't go away. Uh, I might have thrown it in here. Are you trying to? Oh, that's Texas Steve. I got it. No, I got my old pack. 31 feet in Maj Paj is some pretty good size marks, about four feet off the bottom. They're long. Nice, good arcs. I wonder what species if. The white sea bass are starting to move in and go up and down our beaches. I wouldn't mind that being a bio catch today. Right. I think this 
not in this pocket back here. They've got to be. They've got to be back in here. Yeah, my fish getting nutty. Come on. shark hooked onto that front hook. I'm surprised that treble hook didn't stick somewhere where it was going to be difficult to get out. Right. Kind of cooperated with us. Let's go. So we're only gonna have not, probably too many more drifts. And yeah. Well, it's towards home too. Wind starts killing us. Right there. Like that. Let's go. Let's go. Should we bring them in and go, or what do you think? Engage autopilot in nav mode. Yes. Uh, no, unless you're. I picked the spot. Okay. Towards home, at the end of this run of beaches, there's a knoll I, I spotted on the meter that has a, three different sand humps yeah. in a little pocket, and it's towards home, but before that next landing or the next harbor. That might be that might be the ticket. Get a 
little closer to where there's currents going in and out of the harbors. A little bit. I don't know. It looked different. It had more saddles and more little points to it with uh, flats on the deep side. Even though this corner just seems like it should just be. Ah. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Who'd be calling me knowing I'm out? Oh, my buddy Chip. Hey, how are you doing? Good, I'm on a halibut drift and we're just getting ready to do a move. I'll give you a ring here in a second. Yeah, we're out. The water conditions are excellent and uh, brisk, but feels good, not hot. So, yeah, we're out on the ocean. I'll, I'll give you a ring. No luck yet, Krusty. Just the bycatch of shark and uh, sand bass. We're going to jump over to a spot you found on the radar, though. I mean, on the chart. And give it a try. I put the cursor right on the mark. Obviously, we're probably going to want to go above it with this wind and drift yeah. over it. But you'll have you'll you'll see the idea where I mark it. Look at you getting dirty over there. Just playing around. Yeah. Alright. We're clear. I set the cursor on the ball. It's no oh, four miles, huh? Oh, is it? Oh, and it's out the way. Oh, it's back up there. I had it backwards. I thought it was towards home. It is towards home. This here. See that? 
different than everything else along the beach there. Yeah. This will have to stuff to our side or back on the way in. Stay ahead of us. Windy, a bag flew in. Oh. If I could even see it, it might have sank. Sorry. <laughs> you went right over it, so might be able to. It should be on the surface unless it's caught down in the inside. No, it's probably still under us. No, it's under us. Unless you sunk it. Oh, there it is. I see it. I'll drive us over to it. So go ahead and get Yeah, we stomped on it and sunk it. It's probably sinking slowly, huh? Yeah, when it was floating, that's what caught my attention. A little Gucci in there. What a recovery. Yes. Now you caught three things today. Fat Riz will think that Ziploc bag is a jellyfish. Suck on it. I the sea turtles. Got yeah. a lot of sea turtles in the area. Right now? I thought the water was a wee cold. Year round. We yeah. have a habitat for them at the San Gabriel River. Oh. So they're here, you're around. They don't leave. They just go suck into that warm water. Out. Boy, that's out a little ways, huh? So it's yeah, more to ahead. my left. Cruise there, man. Is it to my left? I don't, uh, I don't you're see on the course glare. here. Steers right there. Okay, I can't. I engaged it. Oh. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that autopilot. That. Yep. I love it. It's a lifesaver. It's a shoulder saver. Yeah. My boat's just that little boat, or my center console's just one level too small. 
to trust it that I don't spear away because I have a low front end. It stays low. What was that? My, my boat stays low on the front end. It's really nice when you're bogging. You're going for the lobster, but... Right. I wouldn't trust it. It'd spear away, but we'd be ankle deep in water. those revolving sushi bars? I just got back from Japan. Oh, oh no! I envy you. Went to Vietnam for three and a half weeks, Japan for two and a half weeks. I envy you. How was that? Different? I mean... Very, I would imagine. I mean, we're sweet to them. We don't, they don't use all the sauces we use. Right even down to the teriyaki sauce, or the soy sauce. They go, just some mustards I really like from them. I don't like the Spanish uh, spices, because it hurts my gut, but theirs didn't. Natural roots and stuff. Okay. So, you're, you're into the drier stuff, like gingers and mustards. Right. Instead of soy Wasabi. and... Yeah, wasabi. You have to request wasabi, though. And they look at you like... Because it's real wasabi. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a, it's a paste, a much, a much thicker and stronger. I love it, it cleans your sinuses out. But yeah. they look at you like... It's like putting ketchup on your steak. They, right. don't, they don't... If it needs wasabi, they put it on for you. Yeah, or... That's the type, like, only certain things they think need... Certain cuts, certain fish. The needed. real fishy fish, pasty fish. But it was neat that there was um, there was different stuff on the menu. You know, just like a different eel or a different urchin. Oh right, right. When you get a stringer of fish, oh I got, I got what you're saying, you all. Yeah. I, yeah, but you still gotta push them off, man. You're not supposed to feed the tax man or it learns, or they learn to start coming to us to find their fish. We definitely have a little intermission while we move 
spots right now, chat. If you need to use the bathroom, grab a drink, click away for a little bit, now would be a good time. A little nipply on the moon. Oh yeah. See, it's about this light. I'm going in there. It's this light on that side of that yeah. rig. And home, it's this line. Going straight to the Huntington Harbor here? Yeah. That's Huntington Harbor there, so. That's when I'm coming back in. Yeah. It's always this long section, right? 50 feet of water. Yeah, nice deep for Paul and always pick up. Barracudas, Anitas, occasional yellowtail. But always on the way home, I'll, I'll make sure that I just do that little streak. And you'll just, it'll blow your mind every time I catch a fish on our market. How tight that little yeah. area is starting to load up on my mark. So there's got to be something there that's holding. I've been wanting to stop there. I'm mad at myself for not taking a picture of the number. Water's just a smidge cleaner right here than it was in the corner. Water temp still 60. All right, there's debris we're gonna roll over. There's debris we're gonna hit. Oh! Sorry. Haha, <laughs> we did get it. <laughs> yeah. The good thing it's a scalp. Yeah. Sorry for I didn't know turning on a dime hard. It. Didn't mean to throw you like that. Yeah, that'd be funny, buddy. <laughs> I'm expecting. I I figured you expected it since you're telling me. Hey, there's a free. There's a free. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You awesome. never know. Those cow patties could really hold on to really nice sized things. I might have even got a hanger yep. on there. Exactly. Yep, you I do. do. Yeah, put it down. Put it in here. Like you kicked it. Cool. Yeah, that will overheat your engine real fast. Yeah, it does. Makes your alarm whistle. Yeah. <laughs> How much right. further do oh. we have to go? Uh, a mile and a half. Far okay. Work. There's a lot of, uh, you know, little canyons and stuff off that way right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that double little yeah, saddle. Look, look. I like that saddle, that looks good. That's looks, on your way too. Look, that's... Yeah, looks like a bra. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Should we go over there or do you still want to go where you want to go? What is it of equal distance? I don't uh, know. This one, Whatever's that's closer. only about a half a mile right here. Let's try it then. I like that bra looking saddle. Yeah. It's got like a little canal or channel cut out from the from them. I think it cut cut out from the current. Possibly. Oh, there's the rig that I'm talking about. A lot of people fish. Yeah. I, when I'm coming in, they're always drifting that. Yeah, that's the that's uh Yeah, I can't think of the name right now. <laughs> That's a Sylvie trick. Yeah. But I always see boats drifting from there to the harbor or, you know, staying around it. it. It's definitely a community spot. And it's local close that they can just pop out. Yeah. Pretty good sized patties over here. Some big doll. I guess that storm could have broken away and they, they don't like that cold weather they break up. Esther, there you go. Thank you, Dumbin. <laughs> Esther. Esther oil rig. It breaks, it gets a nice break off of it. There's a drifter. Probably being close to where we're going. Oh, that 
double saddle and you have the currents from the backwater. Which way you want to, what side of it you want to start on? Oh, definitely that side because we're going to blow to the bank over here. So, and we're going to blow pretty quick. It's got a good blow now. That's perfect. We're going to do one, two, one, four, easy. Yeah, we're going to blow quick. I bet when we go over that double saddle right there, we, I feel good. I feel good about it. I think we were too far up there. We should have stayed in there. You know, there's just so much good potential areas it in is. this area. There's so many sandy bottom patches yep. that you know how they stack up on. It's just... What pocket are they in? Right. Keep moving with the bait. You should see my tracks on my spot, though. Freaking. <laughs> yeah. If you put enough time into a spot, oh my God. I had, I had to go in and hide them all. I had to go in and turn off the track because I couldn't see the chart anymore. Uh -huh. Oh, look at. Some bait coming in. Oh no, it's the bottom coming up. Coming up. Yeah, it's coming up and then now it's going back down. Yeah, it's a good little mount here. Maybe that's why I get them every time I come in and out. There's it's a right little there. high zone, if you yeah. will. Yeah. 46 feet, you're down there 15 feet with your lure, the 25 foot with the deep diver. What are those, those Norman? The deep dive in the back. Not the Rapala, but the flat one. Yep, back, drop back down. We should be close to it. I'm just getting on the side of it, on the far side of it, so we can drift it back over everything we're going over right now. We're going to go that way, right towards between the crane and that tower. We're going to go right to that water tower. Think so? Oh, I know so. Right okay, then water. we're probably probably want to go a little this way then. Oh yeah, it's gonna take us easily that way. So, and I don't know where those homes are. Do we pass them? No, they're they're under us. Right here. We're on the edge of one. Okay. See, look at where. Look, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that looks pretty. Should we get on that? There's life in there. Oh yeah, there yeah, really is. A lot of life. And see, that's bait. Yeah. On that. it's... So should I just get on the outside of these a little bit, sure. like about right there where that cursor is, probably maybe? Or... Yeah, sure. And then we'll drift back over it. Cause we're gonna drift pretty good speed right now. Yeah, I'd we say. are. Yeah, there was a little knot of fish on that little spot. A couple of nice calls. Trying to go up. right into the wind so we drift right back yeah. the way we're going. Yeah, even at this speed, we're picking up some stuff down there. Yeah. 300 feet. Didn't see anything after we left those fish though. But... No, we we're going too fast now. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Looks, looks rockier. Look at how much red there is. Hopefully it's sand. Look at that mark right behind the hump. Yeah. <laughs> From the bounce of the boat. There you go. Nice and flat. All right. How this works with two ounces. I may have a problem with two ounces in this three. All right, here, fishy, fishy. Yeah. My guy's still alive. Oh yeah, look at that.
Don't you love when you get to a spot and you drop your rig down and you get an instant cup of boom? Yep. That's that the way it's supposed to be. That happens at Catalina for me. A yeah, lot. the island is famous for that. Nice day though. And we came all the way back pretty much. If this spot gets bit, I'm gonna be happy because I'm gonna fish it. <laughs> oh yeah. This would be the closest spot. I have. Any fish today? We got a sand bass and a pin shark so far. What's going on? We got a hundred biddies from Wolverine. Now ocean is now ocean. It is not like glass anymore. I sure you will get more. Yes. Now we got some motion in the ocean. Yes, we do. Bad watch time. I bet. That's going to be a fun trip. Yeah, I really like the Eldorado too. It's a really comfy, good sized boat. Heavy boat? Yeah. Yeah, it's 85 foot by 25, I think, or 30. It's a good sized boat. Box of tissues. Oh, I already did. Cool. Hi, mate. Hope you're having a good day. Hey, man, we're out on the water. It's beautiful weather. We can't complain. Did you say that with me? A keeper halibut would be all even better. What was that? Did you say that with me? That was Nate? Yeah, the person. That you're oh, he, no, he said, hi, mate. We get Aussies in here a lot. Right. Aussies love fishing. Oh yeah. Look at how beautiful a fishery they have. Right. <laughs> I want to make it there someday. Oh, me too. I have some uh, fellow street live streamers that that are out there. My next big trip is the Galapagos, and then after that. Then it's Australia. 
Look at this swell really bouncing mine off the bottom. Oh yeah. Good content. Honestly, I could probably use a little bit take this one a little far. <laughs> up in a big net again. Learn your lesson. boat sit where those birds were working. T. Wood. Aldo's awesome. Yes, it would. Yes, it is, T. Wood. Yes, it is. Oh. Do you think we're on a drift? Uh, did we pin it enough that we're going to go over those or begin the saddle? Yeah, let me check. Oh, uh, we're on the outer edge. We're going to go over like uh, an edge, like the outer ring of one of them. Thanks for the biddies. Appreciate everyone tuning in. We are looking to get fit. Come on, Halibut. Show yo sow. Show yo sow. like to get contact and then maybe Me put too. a little bit out and then that's... it's because i was too lazy to get a bigger weight on there oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're right at your oh feet my God. Oh, all right yeah oh there you go yep i'm gonna have to slap one of them i think that's that one's yours yep my leaders my eight pound leaders got away from us We covered a lot of ground. Yeah, we did. Ooh, I'm getting some heavier rock grab right there. That lighter weight might be saving me.
Arizona in the house. How's it going? Well, that bait moved over here. Look towards that oil rig or the crater over there. That's a big old group of birds having a ball. Was that where our intentions were, or was it more that way? Um, like a mile, mm, mile away. It was more in front of us. Oh, really? Yeah. And even, yeah, and even to the left a little. That is towards the outside of the ocean. The, the effort is real. That little saddle, if we hit it right, we're gonna pick something up here. Come on, fishy, come on, come on, fishy. How many do you think we should suck up here? Ah, uh, let's see. We went from here. Let me see. Let's see zero. I don't know if I started it when we started. I think I did, but let me double check. I have a 115 on the back of mine. Zips feel, I, I bet, huh? Probably. With a title like that. Me. I love it. The bigger boat. Oh, no. have been odd with this weather change. Probably like roughly 10 gallons or so. Oh, wow. okay. It's not too bad. I've been in much worse, or on much worse, I should say. Man, some of my, some of my friends, friends and acquaintances, they have freaking 900 horsepower freaking center consoles, you know, and those things are gallon to uh, one for one if we're lucky. Yeah, 0.7. You know, so you go 300 miles, that's 900 bucks. Yeah. Or no, more than that right now. That's 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 twelve, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars. We've been getting good bottom marks, but wow! See, that's what you want to see. All the bait up off the bottom, barely. And there you go. Did that just start up? And it, it, the depth dropped a little bit. We're going over the. The back, yeah, the, the front side. There the, you go. The dip. I probably even, probably even left my line out. Yep. <laughs> on this one, because this one, I got a heavy weight on this one. And have it go up and down. We have got to get struck going through that. I mean, look at that. I should have a tube bait jerking it straight up and down to see if they're bad. Well, I got this one playing. 
some flies. Flies and some one grub tail on the fly and the other one the paddle tail on the fly. Those both will get hit by halibut for sure. Uh, any That's luck since the little shark? No, no luck since the little shark mantis. I'm training someone today. Oh, you got struck. Oh, it looked like you just got struck. This one here? No, uh, your middle one. Or, or yeah, really? Oh, yeah, it's just bouncing double, off the bottom. Double bounce and caught bottom and gave free real quick. I like a double bounce. Come on, halibut, eat it. Eat it, eat it. Uh, Ronald Big, Biggs Jr., what part of California coast is behind you? Huntington Beach, Seal Beach, Long Beach, Cabrillo Beach, San Pedro. And then Pacific Ocean, and then Catalina Island. And Clemente that we can't see today. Clemente's behind that, and then in between the mainland and, and Catalina, way beyond that is uh, Santa Barbara and San Nicolas. Look at that, we went through all those fish. Nothing, what did you think it was, white fish out. maybe? I hope my rigs good. Bet you it was white fish. I don't know, those parts are just too many different sizes. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. That breeze is getting cold in the, in the shade. Oh, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do Wednesday so I could plan to rig for it tomorrow. Yeah, I bought some tsunami bait pumps and they look different. They came in and they said tsunami two and I had to get the T's. And they say tsunami twos on them. I don't know. We'll see if they work. The, the yo yo's? Mm -hmm. Tsunami. The what? live bait pumps. Oh, I bait pumps. my cartridge. I put one in and instantly, like before I got out of the driveway, it whined so loud. Man. Crazy. It was my backup pump, too, and it was horrible. I need, I need a, somebody re bagged it. <laughs> yeah, I need to put in new um, autos. I think, honestly, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to try uh, a float. I'm going to go back. To the float method because these new ones that are off of touch they get all dirty and they don't they don't um they don't go off anymore or they'll get dirty and they'll go off when they shouldn't be going off and they burn themselves out so i think i'm going to go to the old school float trig uh, trigger method because all the float is is a switch you know and for your build yeah yeah, for the auto bilges, because I have two manual bilges in both halls, yeah. but there's also two, one, um, one automatic in both halls, um, which, but they're right now they're both burnt out for whatever. I go through the automatics like great, like yeah. probably one or two a year, and the manuals they'll last me forever, and I'll even forget the manuals on for hours sometimes, and they still don't, they still last me. It's crazy, crazy. Very cool. Yeah, Ronald, appreciate you being here. Welcome everyone on YouTube and Twitch TV. This is a waterman's life. I fish three to four days a week, mostly on my own boat, sometimes on charters. We're gonna be on a party boat this weekend uh, on the Eldorado Sport Fishing, exclamation Aldo in the Twitch chat to get more information on that. And we'll be with Lean Cod Jigs, sponsored trip. I do, uh, I fish a lot of his l jigs and flies. I lock it a lot. Lock them a lot. Uh, I'm gonna go to a heavier weight, but I don't know. I think that ball might be too heavy. I got more four ounces than under here. But what, a, what do you think? That's, that's an eight. Six? Those are eights. Those are eights, yeah. Eights and ones. I'm thinking about going to grab a six. I have, I should have fours and sixes on, in this. If you don't have one, and you need one, no, not the problem. I have, I have, no worry. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, I need to sit in the sun. Yeah, it's chilly. The meter went kind of dead after we dropped back off or whatever. We're still in it, though. We haven't come up and out of it yet. We're still in, the, in between the two walls, or slopes, I should say. I sure would not mind a nice halibut. Say a a a o a a a a a a o. Bottom, just no life. We're, we haven't changed depths within four inches. No contour going on. You 
notice all those marks when we had that, that slope on there? Yep. Yeah, we're in between slopes right now. The last I looked. that slope. Yeah, there's a nice slope. Uh, in point one one miles. All right. Slowly getting there. Okay. But there's some uh, bottom marks again here. sardine on one hell of a rig. Yeah, he likes to he likes to do a little bit of a different rig than I've seen, but it works for him. And to each their own is what I like to say when it comes to pitching. What works for you, works for you. Oh. Our drift is nice. No fishing in the area. This is Southern California. There's gotta be a ton of All the way to freaking Newport Beach, pretty much. Huntington for sure. Oh, I could see uh, Dana Point down there. See, we're starting to come back up it slowly. All right. But we will even more in about 500 feet. That's where we're going to get struck if we are. That's me in the bottom. <laughs> there you go. Is that a rocky pile, rock pile? Can't see. Oh, none of these rigs gone off yet.
Oh, here comes a school bait down there. Oh, I'm about to go right through that. Oh, yeah, I'm about to go right through that. There we go. Come on. Get him. Come on. Get that back over. Come on. Come on. Ooh, that's pretty dense. Eat it. You know eat? You know hungry? Why you know eat? Why you know eat your lunch? Growing fish need a healthy diet of sabiki rig. I wait, man, how did it? The fish <laughs> just not it. eating today or what? Oh. You know, when you were in it earlier, when you were sabiki and I was reading off the thing, you wouldn't believe how lit up the screen was. Wow. Like when I said in everywhere from uh, 20 down, that was from here all the way was big wow. for for a while too, and just nothing was happening. I was like, "How are you not getting bit?" Okay, there's another there's another school down there. Makes me think it's like squid or something though, when it doesn't eat the sabikis, especially when we have small a small hook sabiki like this one. Yeah, I don't know. They grab those too. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. I like the light though. Yeah, it's good life here. I'll, I'll, if we don't get bit here, I'll probably try another drift here someday. Yeah, I like that, that Bounce pile ball. right there. Yeah. Oh, there it is. All right. Wheel bait. Now I'm going to put that sucker on. Oh, yeah. This is halibut candy. It's a jack, uh, a jack smell. smell. Yeah. Halibut Andy, you, you like those? Huh? Oh, my last 31 inch was off of uh, was off of one of these. They're, See, look at how they're sensitive. You know too. how many baits are are modeled after that too, especially the swim oh, baits. Yeah. Pearl does them. Um, M and M does them. Um, they look pretty, but I don't catch many fish with them. Oh. I have on the. I mean, I but have, you have to but... keep. I, I, I have on the bounce ball, not on the drift. But um, on the surf smelt and the top smelt, the little guys. Yeah. I've gotten quite a bit halibut off those. So it shows you what's going under us. Schools of those, huh? I wonder if salt, smelt would be a good salted bait. I went to Costco Business and bought a big old like 25 pound bag of salt, maybe even 50 pound bag of salt. Cause I'm gonna, I wanna salt um, squid when I get on the squid this season. Do you ever use that Pro Cure? Yes. I'm a big fan. Love it. Love it. I have several bottles. Change my luck and throw him on there. Hey, if you mind, we're I think we're moving fast enough. Oh yeah, they get weak pretty quick. Yeah, I had a whole school just chasing me right now. Here's another. Oh, perfect. My last halibut was with one of those, 31 inch. During bark haul. Now I gotta get, get them now. So that was like two months ago now almost. Has it been that long since? Time flies. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey, sorry. Could have left them out for you. Here, I might catch another. <laughs> I don't want to beat up that other bait. Ooh, I got the big one. Bigger fish, I guess, huh? Hey, 
Hey, at least I'm catching bait, catching something, having fun, having fun. Yeah. All right, get duck right into my finger. I love that fish bite. Yeah, catch a fatty. Catch a fatty, y'all. Oh, Get jiggy with it. Any fish caught today? One uh, uh, sand bass and one uh, pin shark so far, uh, and two jacks mouth. <laughs> So when I was in Chile, South America, those jack smelt also live in freshwater. Oh, do they? And saltwater. Same ones, but you're not allowed to catch them in the freshwater, put them in buckets, and take them into the lagoon and fish saltwater. Got to keep them separate. They're real strict about it. But anyways, <coughs> good bait, but they fish for them to eat. Like, it's a... Micro ceviches, micro. They have uh, a lot of meat on them. Yeah, they they're real popular down there. We don't even look twice at them. I think fly liner them would just be deadly for a lot of our beliefs. No, they don't swim hard enough. Yeah. The max are good. The jack max are supposed to be really good, but I haven't caught anything off of one yet. Yeah, me neither. Uh, the brown side. Yeah, just a thr I've caught thresher off of them, so I can't say I can have caught anything. But you would think. I was stuck with a, a bucket. I was trying to make bait of Catalina, and you know how difficult that could be sometimes. Yeah. And I uh, caught half and half, and only the Pacific mackerel were getting bit. They didn't even cut. Yeah, some people like them, other people. I just kept grabbing the Pacific Max and catching yellowtail, and my friends all were throwing those jacks on there, and they didn't see the Not one bite. They were swearing by it. Yeah, we're both trying. Hey, why not? That's the bait in the area passing through, right? No idea. Every time I put on the bait that's in the area, I'm going to have good luck. Butt hook. And these guys are all, I've been catching them all off the bottom too. Oh, there you go. Right next zone. Maybe, uh, Halibut are all fat and full. <laughs> Getting a steady diet of those lately. Three jack men. Wait and catch them left and right. 
Oh, I got a new squid light this for this year. All right. 800 watt dip light. Nice. Then I saw your dip net. Yeah, I just got that thing. It's gonna be a killer. Yeah, it's gonna help a lot. Oh, already on. Let's see if I get more than one this time. Seems like one gets on and then the rest spook. Huh. It's not like mackerel where you could like yeah, pick it and have five of them. You, yeah. Hopefully you get a back. Where's my macro? Yep, see, we coming up that wall right now. 44, we we're at what 52 for a bit? 51, 50, 51, 52, bouncing. That's me. Yep, we're going over that rock, see if we lose our rigs. And now I have a smelt on it. <laughs> Going over that zone. Oh yeah, real grabby. Real chunky. Bum, bum, bum. Come on, grabbing hard. <laughs> Come on. It's going over my foot, nice and smooth. Oh shoot! <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're waterproof socks. My feet are dry. Just feel the cool. Yeah. A bit eat my lure. I'm just shocked about all the other species not jumping on the brown bay. Right. That is crazy. I Big agree. sculpin or something. Wow. It is really good. I'm pretty far back from going over it. Definitely. Grab it. Waiting for it to lock up. The way we crossed over that, we didn't follow the contour the way we're blowing. Yeah, we went over that. That should get past. Right. Yeah, we went over the edge of it. Yeah. I'm shocked to. Oh, I'm going over the top of it right now, and it is. I'm waiting to get hung. Oh, Mr. Debris. Oh, it missed that top part of it. Your line. Oh, yeah, you missed it all. Yes, baby.
playing around. Should we, we want, should we reset? Because we're kind of over past it. Yeah. Yeah, let's reset. I'm about changing my rig to a lighter outfit like that. Seeing the finessing is going to make a difference. I almost grabbed that one. I love the Chiku rigs. Off these jigs. Yeah, that's right. Let's put it on another. Now that we know what the real good drip line is, let's do one more real good one. And we either catch or we skunk. Now that we know that drift line, we can literally go put ourselves right here and it will put us across a lot of stuff. And if we don't catch, then there ain't no dang fish. <laughs> Deader than a doornail. Uh, they just don't have the energy for very long. That's why. I, that's why I like using them in the bounce ball rig. You know, you keep them alive by moving them through the water. I've been using 15 pound all day. I've been using 15 pound all day.
and drift. Oh, this is a drift earlier. This one. So that I'm right here, so I'm thinking it would go over this, or I could even go over here and get this. What do you think? So there's this little dome here. We could go down the middle of that, and then it would go up, and then back up. Or we could, I don't know. So many potential options. School's on the top of this hump. kind of just the high bit of it here and then it drops to 50 all around it 52 54 so 44 is pretty on the, the inside of it it comes from 48 to 38 pretty quickly Ooh, 38 there you go from this to 38 yeah that's uh, the shelf so it would be the, a little top shelf, then a drop, then a little bottom, then come back up, and then that would be that come back up would be perfect. That's right. a saddle. Yep, yep. Let's do it. Do it to it.
Donated a donut gun. What was that? Oh, Wolverine, appreciate the hundred biddies. Uh, by the way, do you have any kind of uh, snappers there? We have uh, cod here. Thanks for the follow. Kit. Yeah, there's a lot of bait down there right now.
right on the flats, and it looks good down there. out of Dana, zip out there really far and jump on it. Yeah, you know, those are, cool. Fun. Those are cool. The, um, <clears throat> fast, you get there in two seconds. Yeah, 60 mile an hour little personal watercrafts, you know. Yeah. Now I just fire out a Rapala and control get out in front of them. And it wouldn't take long. find a turtle and follow it. Those come up to what, 28 feet, a couple of them? What? A uh, muscle farm? Yeah. No. Past it, just past it? No. No. Once you're out there, you're in 150 feet plus. Because it's right on the edge of the shell. Yeah. Where they have those muscle farms. So it has good current. Yeah, it's deeper out there. Deeper, deeper, deeper. I'm surprised we haven't gotten that zippity. Yeah. Feels like we had one halibut bite off of yours earlier um, that we yeah, missed. Long strong. Yeah. yeah but they usually hold on with that big one. That treble hook. Right. That's, it could have been a short one, a tiny one, a baby. Bunch of bait suspended here. I am. I 
Drifting in five feet of water with the motor exactly. idling. Spinning out or whatever, that would be awesome. Oh, there we go. 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 Set that hook. Man, it was just a lot of funky bounces. Love to have look at it. Eel trying to grab it or something.
down. Get really nutty. I got all kinds of flipping crap going on. Ah, got it. Big old hornet's nest down there. Let's get stung. That's the Gucci I caught my PB on. Oh, wow. With the grub tail down the center of it. Gucci grub tail combo, tried and true. It's worked for many years in many places. For many people. Including myself. Oh, a couple hundred, hundred of those in a bag at home. <laughs> <laughs> a couple hundred thousand of those, probably. Yeah, your hoochies, man. They're great, perfect size for bounce balling for hell, but... Up. Yeah, I saw that double bomb. I was like, all right, all right. I picked it up. Nothing came down. Oh, chat's down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My bad. Sitting there. Cleaning up on my hooks. Uh, just look in what you have there from fish species, whole gallery of rockfish, sculpin fish, other uh, mostly also bottom fishing, and new, few pelagical, probably more uh, in the seasons. Yeah, right now we're we're pretty off season right now, and we're about to the swells coming in, and navy ships coming in. bass here and there. We had to have gone through a section.
see if I get that window. We'll drive you down south. Get into it. Jump on my boat. Two way down. That's what it takes. I wouldn't mind fishing with you one of these days. Heck yeah, Q ball, join Discord. I hope, I hope that's okay. Oh yeah. Yay! Yeah, I got a big old slap. Yes, fish on! That's why you put in the time. Just slow, slow pickup. Boy, he didn't strike that at all. Whoa. You're way out there too, huh? Definitely a keeper. He's gonna be ready here in a second. He hasn't gotten too nutty yet. But it's definitely a good keeper. Oh, it's a big old water heifer! You are hung on the dock. It's big <laughs> There's no dock out here. It's a heifer. Oh yeah, uh, nah, he might not be a keeper. It's a halibut though. It's a halibut. Uh, I'd say he's a keeper. Oh, it's whoa, so whoa, 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 whoa. Slapped him. He was in there. Up. He was in there too. He jumped right out. Last week my buddy did that. I lost a good fat one, huh? Update. Whoa, he just barely like I hung up. Just just gave me a love like blow. Did he, he did not here we go. He's at net distance. Oh sorry. Yeah, he's a keeper. Alright. I'd say he's a keeper. He looks okay. like a keeper for sure. I'd say he's around 26 inches. Alright. Yes, no skunk. Yeah, I was getting worried about that. I had to triple up on my, on my. Um... So you got three baits on there? Yeah, I had to get all nutty. That's crazy cool technique though, how you're getting all those baits in. Careful, he'll bite your ass. Yeah, almost dead. Been that real good. Let me grab the. Okay, bikes. now what I need is the pliers. Yeah, he inhaled it. I'm going to cut it. Probably. Yeah. Whoa. If we're keeping him. Yeah, you said you wanted dinner. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think you can get it with the pliers. Right there. Just grab that eye and look straight up. Rip his throat. Just pull. There you go. Do you, do you want to bleed them 
them are just bad. Yeah, we he's bleed alive. him. He's alive. Measure him. Huh? Yeah, we'll make sure. Beautiful halibut. Look, where Look we're at, at that, Ed. We started here. Eww. Yeah. There's a the Pacific. Oh, yeah, 26 and a half ish. Four and a. Four. Oh, he's, he's, he's over. 25. Oh, okay. Three 25. inches over. Yeah, he's doing <laughs> in the bag. We bought better than the ones I got last, one of the big ones I got last week. Had more oomph on them. I had two dead ones and I just gave it a fresh, lively one on there. I can't swim with three. Oh, you're priming? <laughs> Blowing boat. What did you do all day? Blew my boat. Back out there. And yeah, we angle, should. Dangle. We should go right back over that spot. <laughs> We're staying out. Nice, Ed. Yeah, bunch of hype in the chat for you, Ed. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. had a quick release on him. Did the camera catch it when you missed him? <laughs> Peeing on my leg. up that 44 foot mark from that 50 coming uphill. Yes, broke the skunk. Yeah, it was worrying me. Our water is you know better than that. You know what's funny? Uh, a lot of times when I'm bluefish fishing, or when I'm bluefin fishing, as soon as I start getting worried about the day not <laughs> happening like I want it to, boom. So out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, bam, I'm on. So it's funny. But I don't work. I don't get into that worry state and that with halibut fishing, you know? Yeah. It's... You're not burning forty, right? Four hundred dollars of fuel and big bait. Right. Today we're the fuel split will be like thirty bucks each. When you, you know? hear everybody saying, "Oh, we're on their sixth one, seventh one, oh, hung another one." When people are doing that, then you're you're like, okay, I'm getting worried. I'm not doing anything wrong. You see he's in a two ounce? Oh no, I went to that four. Four with multiple baits though. I that know. that multiple baits. I like it technique. when they slap each other. You know, it gets all that activity going. Yeah, that multiple yeah. bait wow. technique is definitely definitely did you well, man. I don't typically do that. I usually put one up on top and stand in like you're doing. It. And then when it gets weak, I'll, I'll pin a strong one in the back. Keep that flutter going. Yeah, those were pretty freshies too when I dropped them down. It didn't take too long. I like our speed. The angle of our tank. Oh, 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 Another? I think I just got picked up. No, I'm not in the water. Nope, drop it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, well, hey, that's two right here. 
That was My definitely prediction plus double points. <laughs> then was there a prediction running? <laughs> the end of the day, of course. He missed the first net. We didn't see that. It never happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, what what I'm, that's what I'm talking about, Krusty, and it never happened. Hey, <laughs> what are you talking about? He flew right out of that he net. Did, no, he, he, he did. I had yeah. the rim out of the water. Yeah. He, ho he bunny hopped right out of that thing. He had a lot of fight. For his size, he had a lot of fight. Now, how did it do? 22 inch for a keeper in, in the halibut world is a big, like, go down to Mexico, you'll get teens, and there's still a good amount of meat on them, you know? Yeah. and. So, 22 is a good, a good fish, and that was a 25. But he didn't strike it either. Like last week, it was wham, and you know, and then the load. No, he just he loaded. It. But I knew it wasn't bottom because it just it gave back yeah. up. You have footage, you know. Yeah. It just loaded, and then it just it gave that double. Right. Mouth. Look at the fish coming out of the water over there. Dolphin? No. These guys are just there to see. Nice fish. It's something better than nothing. That's definitely a full dinner for you. That's, that's a lot of meat. I'm learning that California halibut, you gotta do certain recipes with them because if you, they get extremely chewy if you overcook them. There's some fish you can get away with and they won't go they won't go into a chewy state so much unless it's like it's super overcooked but how about you overcook it just a little Real. it goes into the chewy state i was at the sushi place the other night uh, full moon which is it's not the high end not the low end but they have a really good scallop there but they had this really weird name we now serving and a weird name on the wall I know I took a picture of it. Fresh I'm like, one. what is that? I had to ask. And they're like, it's halibut thin. Ooh, okay. Halibut thin. You fry it? No, yeah. Like, no, they just lay it over. It. Like, it, so halibut. I think it, I think it's that bit of meat uh, between the loin and the fin. You know how if yeah. you if you do it really clean, like you'll get that stuff. little bit on on the halibut. You just... Yeah, that looked like it got nasty. Didn't it? But I had my rod low and pointed. Right. Less resistant. I was able to... I was sitting next to it. I was able to jump on it really quick. No, uh, you'll talk to most commercial halibut fishermen. Even if they have a bunch of rods out, they'll always have one in their hand, they say. Because that, that will be their money maker. Because halibut, man, they have a such an soft bite sometimes they did today so I, I could just imagine how many I missed earlier if that was the, the way they did go oh I'm not feeling my bait on it anymore they must have got me I think I got pants gosh all that ground we covered Having a couple rods in at a time. And we... we need to mimic whatever that was on that day. Yeah, it was like right by all the mounds too. Yeah, we were coming uphill. Yeah, I had all those feet marks, so that was probably the uh, But he did fight better. Mackerel. What's that? What's that? Mackerel on the... On the... It's 
So they're here because of the halibut chum line. <laughs> no, really, the bloodline is attracting them. Oh, that's right. From bleeding you it out. Didn't you? Get the cat wound out. Yep. probably have a visual of them. It's so close. If you're getting mackerel, then we're in definite halibut territory. He inhaled it. I wasn't missing him. He had to pass the throat muscle. Yeah. that time I better check my bait because I believe I have a strike yeah this is good I like this we move it covering ground yeah the halibut bite this year has been mind-blowing numbers like I've never seen. Last year was good too. Last year's halibut bite was actually very good. Yep. Right when the, right when the tuna were kind of getting thin. That, that, oh yeah, that, um, the I halibut bite was turned on really well and then the bluefin were here like weeks later and that's why it didn't get as much attention last year. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of charters as you're putting in the halibut drying even at San Clemente and stuff. Yeah. Clemente's an excellent, excellent fish. Oh, yeah. Front and back. Because it just doesn't get touched, right? There's a lot of halibut there. I'd love to do a halibut trip to Clemente. Get this red-nosed one. Oh, come on, I see you guys eat it. <laughs> Even a mackerel giving you grief. Yeah, look at all the blood lying out there. On the bubbles. You can literally see all the red. From them. No bleeding. Whoa. Where did I learn how to walk? Hey, hey, hey. I, I had it laid flat over there. It was nice. I'm going to lay it flat on the nose here. Yeah, if you want this spot back, you're more than welcome. Yeah. I don't think it makes a difference. No. In the ocean. There we go. There we go. Get him! What's wrong with your hooks back there? You want a fresh rig? I, I got one sitting some. right at my foot. I have a bunch of fresh rigs, but uh, yeah, nice size mac. You want this bad boy? Woo! Perfect size halibut mac. Yeah. A wiggler. I'm like, if you don't want them, I'll. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this in. <laughs> Three baits for one freaking rig. No. Yeah, I want one of those, to be honest. Get more.
Come on, Mr. Halibut, it's my turn. <laughs> You know all the multi baits like you're doing for the halibut? That's my trick for uh, lean cod. Yeah. They love that wiggle, or if they grab one, there's still another one there for them. And it gives them a big fat mouthful, and you avoid all the rockfish, and you give a chance for the lean cod to come in and get it, you know? Sometimes you're on a really good lean cod spot, but it's a really good rockfish spot too. Yeah. So you'll be fighting. But you, you use little hooks and you catch that, that rock fish and you just leave it down, leave it down, down there. Leave it down there, yeah. Clamps on it. Yeah. And then you reel them in and you never have a hook in them, but you can get a net under them. Well, we do a lot of that for you. It's a really good thing down there. I love how blue they get. It needs blue. Amazons, I mean. I think just letting it go out slowly like this. Yeah. Um, and, and so it's not dragging so fast. Gave them a, a chance to pick it up. I, don't th I think they're sluggish. They're lethargic. That was in the middle of the drift. I don't think we'd find it again. Uh, let me see I don't where think we turned the boat. We're still in the middle of one. We're gonna come back up a wall. Oh, perfect. Okay. If we're coming up one. That's where we want to be. Up, up Turn. Map put six macros on. Just kidding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Keep treble hooks and six maps. Get some big treble hooks. To slap them on. So neat how distinct you know it's a halibut when you after you hook.
kind of lucky the hook didn't catch in the net when he flew like that. Right. Yeah, I had the lively fish in the back. I had two half, three, 90% dead, and then I hooked a fresh one on the back. And that's what he attacked. And the bottom seems grabbier. And then it stopped being grabby and started going uphill. It's right next to that. use the little sand dabs for bait? Uh, only for link cod. Not for much, not, not for anything else. I see those sand dab lures that people use out here. The big rubber ones. And never tried them. Uh, I've, I have one because it was given to me by one of my sponsors. But I haven't used it yet. I'm, I'm gonna. I might try to use it this weekend at San Nicolas. Fishy, 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 fishy. You know it would be really cool getting a, one of those barbecue grates for fish that was big enough for halibut. <laughs> there you go. Big old flat pan. I've seen the steak ones. They're pretty big. Yeah, I've seen, um, you know, in other parts of the world, them use those for a lot of different types of fish. Yeah. And you have to with fish because they'll, they'll just flake away and yeah. fall apart when yeah. you go to flip it. It's got to be clamped in a cage. Yeah, they have them shaped like fish in different sizes. Yeah. Well, this is a blind fishing. 
I've usually got my face planted in my meter looking for every little newt and cranny shell. Well, I say give it another 10 minutes, so we'll be at 2.30. That'd be a good day. Yeah. We didn't skunk. No. Did you want to take any of that meat home? No? No, I got tons and tons of home. Yeah, me too, just not halibut. I eat all my halibut. That's it. <laughs> I got everything else. Marlin, Dorado, tuna, rockfish. Day, you'll probably get yourself a big eye thresher. They should be moving in good. Oh, big ass swordfish. Yeah. I got this like three pound mackerel I caught off of the 14 mile bank while rock fishing. Biggest mackerel I've ever seen. Bigger than the average Bonita at Catalina Island. There you go. And uh, swordfish, um, marine biologists claim that their number one diet source is mackerel. The white sea bass, their main diet, is, and I don't know where they're finding them, but I'm sure you'll find more of them if you do, is a three pounder or greater size mackerel. Yeah. And I'm like, that's a big mackerel for a white sea bass. Yeah, they're. They're in the deeps, apparently. Yeah. Those bigger mackerel, they get, you know, because uh, now I want to actually, one day when I go and drift out there, I want to just go and see if I could try to catch some of those bigger mackerel and put one down, put a live one down for in the swordfish zone. My bait just isn't really, I put two on there and it, I can't even fill them. They swim good when it's two of them for some reason. They help each other out. That yeah. third one, when they have to bump bodies, they can't get enough momentum. I usually have a bigger uh, hook above my treble. Then I just put two, I put two on that hook and then swing the treble to them. You know, pin them together. They stay on good, but I grabbed the wrong size hook. I couldn't do that. I can only pin one with this size full. Dang, I thought I was going to get picked up the way it started getting heavy. Come on. We still haven't even come up that slope. We're going down like the center of that uh, oh, in the pool. Saddle? Yeah, we're still in the middle. We're coming close to it. We're towards the edge, but we still haven't come up it. Okay. I'm hoping I we... I know we'll pop one when we get to that. I know we will. There's something in my bones. That's the spot. That's raw. Raw. Yeah, we're going to get to that Let's limit out in this last 10 minutes. <laughs> That's it. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, it happens. Oh, it's, it's crazy a... how I'll set a time, call it time, and the bite <laughs> will happen 10 minutes before. Yep, and then it just keeps you there because it's one after the other, yep. Which is fine with me. No time limit here. Just nature. 
This is still great condition. I love it. Good trip. Yeah. I think we're finally at the bottom of the slope. I better check my bait. That was definitely. That's what I just did. <laughs> that was, no, it was a thump. It was a thump, okay. and I thought, all right, but it was too fast and not heavy enough. A real fast strike. And I had my fingers pinched in the line, so it's kind of free open. I was able to let go of it, let it fly through my fingers, and it never, it never kept going. Swimmy enough to keep my rig looking good. I'm gonna sneak under you so I can keep them fresh when I do this. the kitchen sink at them. All right. Bigger the bait, bigger the fish. Bottom of the ninth. Yep. I didn't see any distinctive marks on any of them. So. That one looked like a barracuda mark. Jigging always surpri uh, surprised people. That's why I love it. Yeah, I love jigging. Krusty always surprising me how deep a fine mackerel taking my jigs off the bottom. Um, Newport had some big ones a few months back, last time I was fishing there. By the way, if I am in your shoes, I will already making barbecue on the boat. <laughs> That's it. I got a grill for the boat at the last uh, tackle swap. Oh, tackle me. Go. 10 bucks for a uh, $300 freaking um, green can grill. Those green can grills for the rod holders are not cheap. No, the they joint are... itself and it goes on to you, they're like 80 bucks. Yeah. Because I want to just buy the, uh, the, the joint for them. Right. So I can put a cleaning station and a grill. Right. I was going to build my own and the, yeah. Ordered it from West Marine, they got the order wrong. And... Where are the fish? We want the fish. We got one fish. One keeper is better than none. I'm happy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Even if I had to, even if we were sharing that, man, those are two a, a 25 inch halibut with both sides. Yeah. Those are two good sized loins. Or four, I mean, total, but you know, two each. That's what team trips are all about.
Hey, 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 sometimes. We got grabby right there. We're coming uphill, aren't we? Yeah, we came up to 37, 36. Ooh, now we're in the zone. Now you're talking. Feels better here, sure. Slide out of that mess. Yeah, it was getting heavy there. You know what I've been enjoying a lot lately is uh, uh, lemon cream baked fish. Really? Most of the time it's, you, you know, they do it with, uh, to cover up, you know, not the best eating of fish, you know, like a cod or something, you know, but I like it with a good recipe. It's, it's tasty. See, that's the thing. I won't eat a cooked fish. No? Only sushi, and I will love sushi. Yeah, see, I love sushi, but I like cook as well, but I do prefer sushi more. You know, it's crazy, I love sushi salmon, and ever since I found out all of our sushi, sushi salmon here is farm-raised, I kind of, I try to avoid it. But we were at a rotating sushi bar the other day, and they had wild stockeye. It was so good. So good. It was just nice to see a wild salmon of any goop species when they're so prone to being. We should see how they process that up in Oregon and Washington at the hatchery. They're, they're pretty dark and they go through the shocker and they just load these pins after pins after pins of salmon. After they get all the brooders, their quota on eggs. And it's stuff we typically wouldn't eat, but boy, it goes to market. Weird. Buy it or something. Oh, fishy. Now I'm worried if he got some of my bait. I haven't had good sushi in so long. Yeah. When you come out to California, yeah. and well, you know what? Way on the Aldorado trip, we're gonna catch some tuna, and we'll have some right there on the deck yeah. while they're cleaning the fish. I'll make sure to bring some some uh, sides, some sauces and stuff. They usually have it on board, though, right? Yeah, they do sometimes, but I. I get I get fancy with it sometimes. Yeah, we'll have some fresh caught sushi way when you come for the El Dorado trip, the Stoked on Fishing sponsored trip. Traveling or local? Traveling and local. Going out of Dana for a while there. Yep, I think we finally came we're up out of it. it. We're up on it? We're out, yeah, we're out. We came up the slope and we're... There's still good marks down there every now and again, though. But, uh, we're five minutes past the five-minute call. <laughs> we're at ten minutes. There you go. I love what I feel, though, because I just got done coming up that hill. 
five more serious five minute call. <laughs> Could do five minutes on five minutes on five minutes all day when it's a nice day like this. Yeah. Feels great. Uh -huh. That's a good color fish too. It's got some good color to it. Yeah. Nice fish, huh chat? Fresh halibut for dinner. Talking to fish and game in San Diego. Yeah. You go over the border, you know, because they're getting relaxed on a couple things over there, just with your biosphere pass, and you're able to go to the Coronados with less. You yeah. Have your MMSI, whatever number on your radio. When you're coming back, you have to print a declaration, just like if you're on a plane, to declare what you're bringing back. Really? And it was a misdemeanor for the last, you know, 10, 12 years. No way. Now it's turned into a felony, and they're at, they're going to be at the ramp all week. So you have to take the, that paper with you then? Yep, print a handful out, and everybody on board has to fill it out. And if you don't have it with you, signed, even if you put zero on declaration, you don't have it but then if you have something and you don't have it it's even worse and she was telling me it was this lady beautiful beautiful fishing game lady beautiful and uh she was explaining it all to me because i overheard her at her booth talking about it all day so I asked for more detail. She said they're going to get hot and heavy at the ramp next month, all through this season. They're really going to watch for it. How are they going to prove that you went into Mexico waters? Your MMSI, they know everything going back and forth over there along that edge. They got, they got boats out there, military and stuff. But your MMSI, whatever, your radio has all your background, you know, your CF number. You have to be registered to go back and forth over the border. So when they pick you up, they know who's on board and they know what boat it is. And who There's so boat. many people that don't have their radios registered going back and forth. Well, they're going to be on that too. Um, I, I've never had a, my radio registered. I still don't. Just call Geico or AAA or uh, Boat US and just have it registered really quick. Do it right over the phone. You don't have to sit there and fill out 40 different thousand forms on the internet. Call it in. Tell them you're having trouble and then they'll read you the number like five times back because once it's in there and you make a mistake because it asks you to print it twice, it's in there forever. But the big thing this year is the declaration. Like, wow. Or you can go and pick some up at the fishing game office. You got one right here in Long Beach right up the street from you. What, two exits up the freeway? A corporate office. Region five or six. 
there's a number of free services as well for registering your radio. Okay. eliminating that he said she said I guess is supposed to be the cause of that. I caught two on their side, three on our side. Just declare everything. Yeah, you know, it was funny. The first time I ever went over there, the, I, I had forgotten. Uh, they, she didn't tell me that, um, but I had forgotten my Mexican fishing license. Um, so I had everything else, and she's like, luckily you didn't get stopped and checked while you're over there. Because you don't have that. It's the first thing they check for, and if you don't have that, they'll confiscate every piece of fishing equipment you have on your boat. Yeah. And the new ticket for the island now is... The ticket is the value of your boat. Yeah, I have that forever. Though. I have the uh, I have the annual. I do the annual pass for all the parks when I do mine. I don't do just the wristband for the one. Well, Ed, I think that should that. Yeah. I think the one fish is what we got today. them in calico fried rice instead of chicken use calico Ooh, I bet like that. so I'm, good I'm gonna try that I'm a cook I it mean, is I like cooking. so good honestly way better than chicken fried rice I'll never I don't even care for chicken fried rice yeah. chicken always just gets so dry and Keepers, yeah, Pacific. Uh, Ed put one on the bow. His his three fish <laughs> drift rig, his three bait fish drift rig. Got him one. Twenty-five inch keeper.
Look at them teepers. This guy's got some gnarly teepers. Mr. Biggs, thanks for the follow. Yep, we going home with dinner tonight. Ooh, it is chunky here. No rigs lost today. No, right, that was a, that's nice. For a blind draft that we don't know the area very well. That would have been what could have been pushing up the bait. I was thinking about that. Well, water people on YouTube and Twitch, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I fish El Dorado all the time since 1994. Nice, cue ball. Definitely got to get on there together sometime. Nice. Fish guys, targeted species acquired. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, cue ball. Appreciate you all for tuning in. If it wasn't for you all, I would not be streaming on a regular basis like this. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in. I definitely appreciate it. I'm going to raid you guys out and uh, send you elsewhere since I'm going to end it now. We're going to send it back in and uh, I will be back out on Wednesday. Everyone Wednesday, set your uh, 
alarms for Wednesday and we will be back at it. Always enjoy the stream. Thank you, Cass. Appreciate it. Always do my best to, to entertain. Wolverine, thanks for the uh, follow. Pre I mean, for the biddies, appreciate it. All right, let's get you guys rated out. We'll raid uh, Thirsty Show. Yeah, let's go to the Thirsty Show. Appreciate you all hanging out today. We got our targeted species with some bycatch as well. 